come over here. Oh, hello. I think they're all dead. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice to be here. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a good one. We're live on YouTube and Twitch. Pick your poison. Adeli, how you doing? Thanks for uploading PUBG console videos. Back in the day, I still upload PUBG console videos every single weekday, as well as streaming PUBG uh, normally three days a week. So there's lots of um, PUBG content for you to watch if you want to watch those PUBG videos they're on my second YouTube channel now not this main one they're on this second one the link is in chat TBG plays literally every single day of the week there is a new PUBG video there so go watch them go enjoy them go click like on them go leave comments on them and all the rest of it Criminy how you doing good to see you mate <clears throat> Gaz welcome 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 Lee how you doing Jacko welcome Chandy welcome Happy No Dogmatic Dragons Day. No, not not on the dragons today. Uh, I was going to work on some more of that, but I thought I'd better give you a stream because I'm not streaming on Friday or Monday. Um, so I think I'll probably leave the Wednesday stream next week. We'll just do the Patreon squads next week. Um, and then I get the whole week to focus on video content, which I'm really behind on. So um, that is what I'll be doing next week. So, um, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy the stream you, while you get it. We're going to play some solos today. Should be a giggle. Hey, Dutch, how you doing? Rekt, how you doing? Welcome. I just had some peanuts with my sandwich for lunch. I've got, like, a bit of peanut in there. You know, we like, in the bit of tooth at the back. And it's just when you know something's there, it's like... And then, some, and then after a bit, you're like, is that... Is that just, my, am I trying to get my tooth out of my tooth? 
Or is there actually something in my tooth? Raspberries are the worst of that. When you get the little, tiny little seeds from raspberries in a, in a tooth gap. Oh, awful. Never come out. You have to power wash your mouth. You have to get the jet wash out. Um, so we had a nice little duo session on Monday with Mr. Gaming Nacho. Uh, today's back on solos. I don't know what the queues are gonna be like. Probably kind of slow, but we'll just uh, we'll just roll with it. Have a little warm up. Shay, how you doing? Good to see you. I'd be interested to hear today from people what. Oh, hello. This beard. That's not one minute click. Um, what maybe their top thing they'd like to see removed from PUBG would be? Because I saw some interesting feedback from some of the other PUBG partners on console recently talking about various different things that they're not happy with, like uh, the AED, like um, talk, people talking about in the instant car explosions, missing the old instant car explosions. Um, emergency pickups being too common. And other such issues that people find problematic. I was kind of curious what, you know, what the, the general Joe public, such as yourselves, um, you know, think about. Is there anything in PUBG that you, um, that really grinds your gears at the moment? I'd be interested to hear that. My hands feel very cold today. We're going to need to do a right little warm up. To get these working. To get the old claws engaged. AD bad. Exactly. AD bad. If there was going to remove one single item from PUBG that would make my play experience better. It would be the AD. Like it doesn't. It doesn't like infuriate me, but it just gives a kind of a slightly annoyed like undertone to to everything, because it's just always a bit annoying when someone has one, particularly in squad play. I think. Because it just makes it in squad play so the only sensible play on any map that has ads is to instantly flush people out as soon as it's safe to do so. Which is, you know, which is annoying because it's like, I don't, I don't want to have to be like insta thirsting everyone out, but kind of, you're making me, you're making me. I'll let you know when this little bit of peanut in my teeth comes out today. It's going to be very, it's going to be very satisfying for everyone. Hey, boom. I'd remove all the good players from PUBG so I feel better about my gameplay. That'd be nice for a day, wouldn't it? Maybe they could have like... Like one day a week when good players aren't allowed to play. If your KD's over like, you know, three, then you just you blocked from playing for the day. Do it on Tuesdays. I don't really play on Tuesdays. More of an addition. Also interested to hear additions. That is fine. I'd like to be able to track stolen blue chips. I agree. I think that'd be nice. I think if you have the, like the the ability to take them you should kind of know where they are or in some i mean i guess so i, I was thinking about this the other day because it is a bit annoying when you're like you know why can you take blue chips but conversely i think you kind of need to be able to take enemy players blue chips because it it incentivizes you to um you know attempt to retrieve that blue blue chip and fight the people who killed your mate like if Whereas if, you know, if we killed a squad, if we couldn't take blue chips, not that I ever really bother, but if you couldn't take blue chips and you killed, you know, three people and their mate went and hid, then that squad that's killed three people can't do, couldn't do anything to stop those three players getting back in the game. Like they could sit there and wait for like 15 minutes, but they go, the other guy can just go and hide, wait as long as he likes, and then go and get those three people back. Um... So at least having the, the knowing that enemies could take blue chips kind of incentivizes you to to actually try and fight back against the people who have killed your teammates or at least fight fight them off or whatever. Um, I think Nacho mentioned the other day the idea of having it so maybe the animation to pick up blue chips is more like a like a 
a 10 second animation or an 8 or a 10 second animation. Something like that. So that it's like you really are not going to do it unless you've properly cleared out the enemy and they fucked off and you're like, well, whatever. Not that I, like, I never really bother doing it anyway, like I said. But, um, but if they drop it... I would have kept the blue chip detector, but only have it find your teammates. Yeah, yeah, I, it wouldn't be, I, I don't think it'd necessarily be a bad thing. But I kind of get why you can take enemy blue chips to me. Does, You've come a long way since Frank um, the Tank, and we don't want him sense, coming back now, do we? Probably do with tweaking. Short bus, how you doing? Morpheus, welcome. I don't care much for the red zone or the storms added. Yeah, I'd happily see them gone, really. I don't mind this. I, the red zone I find more irritating than most of the storms. Like the sandstorm is my favorite because it just blows through. It's kind of it just adds a little bit of atmosphere and it blows through very quickly. Doesn't really affect too much. It just adds a little bit of an un, a different dynamic to the map. The blizzard is better than it was, and the red zone is just just annoying. Isn't the chip corrupted as soon as you pick it up? Now, I, no, I don't think that's the thing, right? That's the problem with established games. Hey, Treadstone. The barrier to entry for new players is hard. Yeah, it's tough. You know, seven, seven year old game now, right? And you come in in day one, it's tough. Well, you know, your day one. Yummy. Check out that streak. Oh, I have to click back to, back to Twitch. 55. Does it only let you share them at certain milestones? Is that why you couldn't do it yesterday? Because it was on 54. Very nice, sir. Every five. Man, that Dragon's Dogma was a lot of fun yesterday. I need to... Um, we're going away. Uh, I'm off to MPF for a few days, but um, next week I'm going to be going on hard on making youtube videos for that so i won't be streaming very much next week <clears throat> whilst i um get some dragon's dogma video content out and that'll probably be the case for um for a few weeks depending on you know how the content goes but it's a really fun and very complex game so um it's a good opportunity i think for that kind of thing so yeah next week i'll be very busy doing youtubey stuff Hey, Magneto. How you doing? Hey. Oi. Yeah, good, good little streak, that. I wonder if a few people lost their streak yesterday because I did my unannounced Dragon's Dogma. Um, dogmatic Dragon stream. I mean, as long as you have notifications turned on. I mean, if you care about that stream streak thing, you're going to have notifications turned on, right? Otherwise, it's your own, you know. Otherwise, you're dicing with death. Did you run that past the approvals committee? I did. They, yeah, they signed it off. It's fine. It's all above board. We need to do more. <clears throat> Excuse me. 398. Pretty average. I didn't know that was a thing, and now I obviously care about it. Well, I never, I never even see him, because the merged chat that I read that shows YouTube and... Well, not that anyone on YouTube's talked for a little bit, actually. But, oh, no, Jacko has. There he goes. So it shows... This, this is basically what I read during the stream. And it just shows Twitch and YouTube chat together. Which is quite useful. But, um... And it shows most things, but it doesn't show those those streaks don't get pulled through by it. So when people post a nice message being like, oh, look, I've got like an 8,000 stream watch streak on Twitch. I don't even see it. <laughs> Soz. <laughs> so you have to yell at me and tell me to come and look at your streak and I'll click on Twitch and check it out just for you. Whoever you may be. Wit, how you doing? Good to see you, mate. Hope you're having a good one. Oh, I yell. I yell. Bum, 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 bum. 
Witness me! Crack and film that. The um, Fury Road one. Love that. They're doing a new uh, Mad Max, aren't they? But it's... Isn't it like a Furiosa, but it doesn't... It's not... Is it... Uh, who is it? Charlie's Theron or someone? Let's make that up. It's not like the same people as Fury Road. Um, so at the weekend, we had a max DNF. It was still a pretty average race. Well, I think that... I, I didn't watch it in the end. I woke up and I saw the result on my phone and then I went out running for like four hours and I was like, I just can't be asked to watch it. Like, even knowing the result... I think the thing is, like, I didn't see the race, so maybe not a comment on the the race itself, but um, I think, like, even because you know that that reliability issue is so, so rare, it doesn't, we already know it doesn't have any effects on the championship. Like, we already know there's literally zero chance of anyone else winning the championship this year apart from Max Verstappen. So it doesn't... So when there is a race that he doesn't win, it's not like, a, oh, this keeps the title race interesting because it doesn't. Um, so it's like, oh, who can pick up a token win to add to their statistics so they can finish in a meaningless third or fourth place in the championship. That's kind of, I think that's what's always in my head is that like, I don't, you know, these drivers always want to do the best they can in any race. But, you know, do any of them really care that much? If you're a Ferrari or Mercedes or whatever driver, whether you finish like fourth or fifth or fifth or sixth, like not, not really. Not if you're a, somebody who wants, not if you're like a Fernando Alonso or a Lewis Hamilton or a Charles Leclerc, like somebody who wants to win championships, right? Anya Taylor Joy plays Furiosa. I don't know who that is. Kizzy, how you doing? I don't know who any celebrities are though, so it's not saying a lot. I hate when Sky Sports publishes the results in notifications. Well, I don't have any of those turned on, but it was just like the Australian ones always kind of like that because you, you forget you wake up first thing in the morning, you're sleepy, and I just like open Twitter and it's like Carlos Sainz has won. And I was like, oh, well, whatever, I won't watch it then. Sometimes I would if I'd seen the result, but um, you know, I just it's not very interesting at the moment. The F1, so even with that. Hey Carl, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. She was the damsel in the Northman. Oh yeah, that Viking film. We talked about that before. The one where um, the guy snogs his mum, right? That one. <laughs> Has a cheeky kiss with his mum. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of that film. Not specifically just for that reason. I thought it was just a bit very confusing and not my, not my bag. Previous years, I'd watch religiously. Yeah, I was the same. Absolutely. You know, even I watched religiously through, you know, when Red Bull and Vettel used to dominate. Even though, you know, I was kind of pissed off at who was winning all the time. I still watched, like, them all the time because I found them it quite exciting. And then I watched through all the Mercedes era. Um, and then, yeah, last season was like, oh, this is bad. And then this season is like, oh, it's just more of the same. And I'm kind of losing interest. So, but it'll, you know, it'll turn around at some other seasons, how it goes with F1. But yeah, it's been particularly bad recently. You would get rid of AD, bring your Mac teammates, emergency airdrop, and the glider. That is brutal. Sink. I can't say I agree with any of those apart from AD. The emergency airdrop, I don't mind. I think maybe make it a bit less common. It's quite common. I wish there was less of them. Glider, I think, is great fun. Bringing back teammates is very, very good for the game. But yeah, the AED are in the bin. Thank you. All in the bin. All of them. Hey, somewhere, how you doing? Anyone been playing PUBG NA in the evening? Super sweaty lately. Um, No, I haven't. Guess that would be the middle of the night for me. So not a surprise. 
there's been a lot more people using gliders recently. I feel like over the last month or two, it suddenly just seems to be loads of people using gliders, right? I don't really know why, but there's a lot more gliders being used. I think when they first came out, they were kind of used a bit as a novelty. And then there was just a big lull where they weren't really, you know, you might see one knocking about during a game, but not really like a big deal. Whereas now they're like, yeah, they're freaking just constantly seeing gliders, which is surprising. It's not like they're super common either. Like there's not that many on the map. So people are just, you know, people are into it, I guess, at the moment. Maybe they've been watching like various streamers do like crazy glider shenanigans. Hey. But yeah, it is, it is unusual, the, um, the glider, glider craziness. Didn't I get RPG'd from glider the other day? I did, that was strikey, that was a guy I know, yeah. Do you have to fuel up the glider before using it? Yeah, you still have to do that. You have to go get a gas can. Other teams messed up the regs for F1. Well, kind of that, but I think there's like a lot of different factors. Like, obviously, it's annoying having like the Red Bull just be ridiculously out in front. And then it's kind of compounded by Red Bull having one top tier driver and one very, very average driver. Because then there's no battle between teammates, which always used to be exciting. When there was a dominant team, you were like, well, at least we can watch the two teammates fight. But we can't because one of them's crap, basically. Um, and then, you know, the nature of, I think the, the cost cap and the restrictions on amount of like engine units and all this kind of stuff, like has a, a an entire deck kind of has this effect now where the teams are just not really pushing their cars to the limit as much as they used to be. And the increases in like qualities of sensors and all this stuff just means that there's so little reliability issues anymore. There used to always be reliability issues in F1 that would like stir up things and cause crazy things to happen. And they're just so infrequent these days, really, especially for any of the top teams. Not like they used to be. Um, and, you know, pit stop mistakes are a lot rarer and stuff like that. So just kind of, yeah, end up in a lot of these races that are just not not super exciting. Hey, uh, Leo, how you doing? Max is another level. That's the problem. It's not. That's not the problem because, you know, if you put, if you had... You know, that Red Bull being driven by Max Verstappen and Fernando Alonso or Verstappen and Leclerc or Hamilton, maybe Sainz. I don't think Sainz would challenge him over a season, but I think he would challenge him a lot more than Perez does. You know, you look at Perez in that last race, right? You know, he, he did shit and his car is just so much better than all the others and he still did, did rubbish. Whereas I think a lot of those other drivers on the grid... You know, I think even Russell would do all right in it. I think he'd still crash it a lot and make a lot of mistakes because he's got a lot to learn. But, you know, you put some of those other, you know, world championship top tier drivers. I mean, obviously Alonso and Hamilton have proved themselves in that ilk. Leclerc maybe hasn't. He's a great driver and a great um, qualifier, but he hasn't really proved himself to be able to, you know, obviously to win a championship. Not that he's really had the opportunity, but he's had the opportunity to... Uh, do better than he has you know he had a lot of mistakes he made a couple of seasons ago at ferrari as well as ferrari made if you're lot, not smiling of, um, balls to you a lot of mistakes Love hey, you, ben. thanks very much appreciate the uh resub signs is better than the claw right now i mean he seems to be i like i like signs he's great i rate him be interesting to see how they get on over the season for sure Right, we'll do like one more of these. Maybe the little dragon of one. And then we'll try. We'll try playing. But uh, yeah, it's kind of partly, a sh it's a shame like, because, you know, it's always been quite a nice like thing that I enjoy watching on a Sunday to kill a couple of hours. But, um, you know, conversely, that's a couple of hours on most Sundays of the year that I'm now going to get back to do something else. So, swings and roundabouts.
How long will it take Alpine to get to the big boys with the sports putting big money into it? Uh, I don't think... I don't know if they ever would, really, because the nature of the... I don't know. I mean, maybe when the regs change in 2026, is it? But because of the cost cap, you can't really pump money in and suddenly, you know, be a front runner. Not that you can really do that even in the past as well. You know, it's it was very difficult. Um, I, yeah, I just don't think it's really possible for any of those teams to, even with great investment and structure, to suddenly jump up you know maybe over the course of like five or six years you know of of growth and development and but it's hard because you know they don't you need like the best people and then the best people go to the best teams and it's you know you're not going to get adrian newey going i'm going to go and make cars for alpine or you know mclaren or something right how is this year different to when hamilton was winning every year um i'd say this well this season obviously we only had a handful of races but um i think last season and this season have certainly been less interesting than most of those seasons when hamilton won his championships i assume you mean the ones with mercedes and not mclaren um obviously most of the seasons with mercedes winning their championships there was reasonable battles going on between teammates one or two of those had good battle going on between um verstappen at the beginning of that we had good battle going on with vettel in the red bull of course it was a great season so there's been some um you know in the tail end of that red bull dominance we had some good good times as well you know that's the seasons where red bull were winning loads with vettel before mercedes with some great races you know some great like we talked about a minute ago we had a lot of times where reliability issues throughout the grid would cause kind of crazy things to happen in races and stuff which yeah we don't really uh seem to see happen anymore so yeah lots of compounding issues that kind of have made it quite quite dull at the moment and hopefully that's something we um you know the sport can try and move past figure out a way to make the racing more interesting which isn't just because, you know, one one team has a much faster car than the others. It's lots of different reasons, really, that are making it like that. Uh, but that just, you know, that exacerbates it, certainly. You know, like when I was, we had, what, how many did Vettel win? Five? Five World Championships? Four or five World Championships? When Red Bull won it a bunch of times in a row? And none of those seasons was, you know, the team... Did I see like my team that I wanted to see winning or the drivers that I want, you know, that often winning? But I still enjoyed, you know, watching a lot of those times. There was a lot of good races in that period. You know, the seasons weren't awful. You know, the Red Bulls were very, very dominant, or Vettel certainly was. But there were some good times when, you know, Weber gave him a good challenge. And But uh yeah, I don't remember that being as uh, as harrowing to watch as um you know at the moment where it's been so many, so many dull races. Vettel won four, yeah. Right, that'll do. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, leaf training. I'd get rid of the fam ass. I'm always gutted when I get in a crate. I agree, I'd get rid of the fam ass. It just seems pointless. Don't want it. I've... No good. See how long it's taken uh, McLaren to get back, and they're now two thirds best, but a long way off Red Bull still. Yeah, I mean, and they're they're kind of you know the McLaren are still very variable between different types of track, which is traditionally what you see with F1 cars. But the Red Bull has just been strong on every track, apart from what was it Singapore last year? They were crap on one. Of, there was one track last year that magically the Red Bull was just absolutely terrible on, uh, but it was great on all the others. I don't see Carlos move to Red Bull with Max. I'd, I'd think that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great to see. He'd be much more competitive than Perez. You know, I think um, I think Sainz could give Vettel, a, uh, Vettel uh, Verstappen a, a run for his money on certain circuits and in some situations. I think over the course of a season, I think, you know, Verstappen would, um, would likely beat him. But it'd be interesting to see how that played out and see what the gap would be. It'd certainly be a lot closer than... Um, it is with uh, Perez. 
And at least then if we saw like a bu occasional fights for wins going on between Verstappen and Sainz, then it you it make races more interesting. Even if they're both driving like 45 seconds ahead of the rest of the grid, then at least you got a fight for the for the win going on. Who'd have guessed with the amazing 21 on season we'd have to give up three, four years of crap seasons? Yeah, you know, it, it kind of comes and goes and swings, doesn't it? Like, you know, before we had this sort of great period over 20. 21 2020 and stuff like that like a few years before then there was you know a couple of those mercedes seasons were you know not certainly not the most exciting some of them were pretty good um still you know maybe not a few you know you might it depends on your outlook doesn't it i think some people like don't like you don't enjoy it if your team doesn't win right whereas um you know if there's just good racing and you can enjoy then that then that's um that's great but i think we just we just need we need good racing now, right? Um, we're going to have different maps now, right? What day is it? It's Wednesday? No, it's going to be the same bloody maps, isn't it? Christ. It looks like this week's dragging on forever. I just want to play on freaking Tago. It's going to be the same as the Monday sesh, isn't it? Dikendi, Miramar, Erangel, Paramo, and Destin? F1 fan first, team fan second. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of how I've always been. I mean, I've tended to like just support being like, I would like to see the British drivers do well. But then it's then I'm also kind of like, then I like to see any underdog do well. And, you know, when you see, when you have races in the past where it's like randomly a fucking like, you know, an Alpine or a, or, or whoever, some random like car that would never normally be able to contest for a win or a podium gets a podium those are always some of the best races even if it means the driver that like the one you support like dnfs those races i you know i love those but uh yeah there's because of the consistency and reliability these days there's less and less of those things kind of happening really i love the word exacerbate but especially when it was used in the movie Shaun of the dead well, where do they use it in Shaun of the Dead? We watched some of that the other day. It was on. I mean, I've seen it a hundred times. There's a girl in the garden. Saw Destin a few times yesterday. Yeah. What year was it that Button had two accidents sent up last and went on to win? Um, was that uh, it Button's Canada, wasn't it? The Montreal, where Button had like the epic, like winning from the back pretty much. Yes, yeah, solos today. Canada's thrown up some. Uh, I can't remember what year year that was. My memory for years is is crap. Yeah, Canada has thrown up some great races over the years. But it's a cool track, and it often has a lot of rain as well. Ooh, this is very picturesque, isn't it? You remember the good years of Ferrari? Oh, well, that's going back a bit. What? Chew me. Yeah, I mean, that was like, I guess, when I was kind of a teenager. In maybe in my early 20s, I suppose. Because we kind of went like, I'm trying to remember like the order. It was kind of like we had Ferrari and then McLaren when Hamilton won his first one with, I guess, what did Alonso win one? He won one with McLaren and there were a lot. And then Hamilton won one with McLaren. And then Braun was shoved in there somewhere, as Keanu Reeves will now tell you. And then Red Bull had their Vettel era. And then we had the kind of Mercedes era. And then um, back back to Red Bull. Yeah, it was pretty uh, pretty one-sided back then, absolutely. We had Renault, sneaky Renault in there. Was it Alonso with Renault, 2006? Nice. Yeah, I told you, told you my memory's not so good. I mean, that's quite a while ago, in fairness, isn't it? <laughs> I don't remember what I was doing in 2006, so. Kimi at Ferrari, yeah. Two thousand eight Hamilton McLaren. Nice.
It was 20 years ago. Yeah, quite a while. What was I doing 20 years ago? I would have been 19. Went to uni. That's why I don't remember it. Did not expect him to be there facing away from me. This guy's fucking driving off. Pretty sure I just... Well, I just heard another footstep. We are old, aren't we? 20 years ago, I was in high school. Someone's going to be like, 20 years ago, I wasn't even born. If you're not smiling, balls to you. Thanks to at the beard guys for my sub gift. Hey, 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 it's the beard guys ultra. Hey, Eamon. Thanks very much, mate. Thank you for your Patreon support. Lovely to see you. Uh, Yuri, how you doing? Is the SMG update on the live servers? No, well, it's, you can use it on the um, in arcade mode in a little test environment, but it's not like in the main game yet. That's what you mean. Um... Turn my audio up a bit. Hey, Samantha Hutchinson, how you doing? Well, with irons, Jesus, stop it. The most hammered, uh, the Sappen one with four rounds left in 2022, 2023 one with five rounds left. The most hammered one was with three rounds left. See, that's interesting. Despite you looking back on it as being such a Hamilton dominating era, the fact that he still got within three races at the end of the season before he won any of those dominant years is shows how, you know, obviously some of those weren't necessarily close, but um, it wasn't over quite as early as it, you know, it was in uh, the last year or two. Yeah, Nico beat him in one. Really stepped up the animated emotes. Yeah, thanks. There's a bunch now. I um, I went all in. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hopefully no one turns up while I'm fanning about with all this. Carrying some nonsense, aren't I? And reload again. Hey, Rowata, how you doing? Nice to see you. There we go. That's a bit better volume. Let's go drag. Let's go dragon off because heady shots. It's a blue chip transmitter. Oh, could have gone in that, but sure. Right, we're on it now. We we got our inventory sorted out. A few years ago, I was talking about 9-11 with one of my interns. He wasn't born when that happened. That made me feel old. Yeah, what, 2001 that was? Quite a while ago. <clears throat> it's my gun wrapped in pearls. It's, um... It's wrapped in all sorts, to be honest. It's quite jazzy, isn't it? Hey, Nick, how you doing? I am playing PUBG today. I was playing PUBG on Monday as well. And all the other days that I always play PUBG on. Um, I'm 
pleased with those shots we drilled into that guy's face. We'll go and check his body. Maybe he's got some fives for us. There he is. What do you have for me? Two comps. Jesus. And a red dot. And a whole lot of frags. And all of that. Okay. Um, Let's just take that and we'll keep it... Uh, one ammo type. It's just gonna be easier, isn't it? And roll with that for a game. Uh, right, we need to... Someone took the car. I don't know if there's multiple cars around here, but I think let's have a little bike ride. Um... This way. We don't have tons of ammo, but we got we got enough. Hey oh. eh. Eh. Hey For God's sake. Stupid umbrella blocking me. Maybe. And there we go. Uh, which way are we going? Lefty. On a skiing trip, snowing since this morning. Watching your stream from a nice hot bath. Oh, that sounds lovely, sir. Uh oh. Hi. Just got a new mountain bike. Finally ready to... Glad to be... Get on the trails again? Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, I don't really do mountain biking, but I'm always out on the trails running. I fucking love it. It's so nice. I often talk about old school overhead projectors with my students. They look at me confused. Yeah, get the, the OH, wheel the OHP out. <laughs> We're wheeling the uh, the big telly on in the room on the trolley. Put something on because the teacher's off sick. What what percentage of hours are viewed from the loo? It's not. It's very God. It's very open here. Let's get this uh, snowmobile. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not a metric that Twitch gives me somewhat harshly with the built-in VHS yeah exactly there we go volume turned up even more all right we'll keep an eye out for some crates Highlight of the week, if that telly came out, yeah, you knew you had a, uh, a nice, easy lesson. Teacher was probably hung over, looking back at it. <laughs> Ooh, thread the needle. Right. Let's um, keep an eye out for an aeroplane. How you doing, Mickey? Lovely to see you. Oh, hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. God, it's quite a monotonous noise. If you're not it? smiling, the balls to you. Changes. Loved the biscuit stream on Monday. Jammy Dodger. It was a good biscuit, biscuit stream, wasn't it? We really covered a lot of biscuity topics. Topic also being a bit of a biscuit. Oh. Maybe more of a chocolate bar. Oh, it's the crates. Oh, he's on the roof there. Hmm. It's 
I'd like to look in those crates. I mean, that guy surely has already looked in them. I think we go for these new crates. These ones here are very open. What's that guy doing? Looting? I'm not sure. Either very slowly looting or he was disconnected. The main one's been looted, so... Let's not go for scraps. We'll go for we'll go for gold. Good it. Oh, it's a double. Oh, that was a big hit. Wow. We'll go for the other ones. I can't go out into that road where that guy just fucking shot me straight in the head. I watched that stream on YouTube, kept wanting to comment as if it were live. On, on which one, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Dave, there's none this weekend either because I'm away. Three gear and a P90, which I'm pretty happy about. Oh, hello. You a bot, maybe. Uh, yeah, you're a bot. Go on, mate. Come have a come and have a little look. Oh, come and have a look, mate. Come and have a little look. Yeah, they'll they'll definitely be on. A week, week on Friday, I'll definitely uh, get some going for you. Oh, he just got a, a knock on self resid Let's get somewhere where we can... Oh, is it, was it you? Nah, not going to be you, is it? Just get into the new zone, I think. Uh, yeah, so none this Friday, but a week on Friday we'll be back to back to business, back to normal business. I don't like to go near these things on the right because people just land on them with the freaking gliders or e pickups, and they're a pain in the ass. They're a right old pain in the ass. All well, that was, I just saw a little puff of, puff of snow over there. It might have been that vehicle that went past. Or a stray bullet. Hmm. Cheers, Dave. Yeah, it's been a busy few, um, busy few bits going on. Busy few weekends. Which is tricky when you're trying to do, like, ultramarathon training as well. Oh, look, someone in a glider. We haven't seen one yet this game. It's pretty low still, because I can't see it up there. It's just miles away. Um, fine. I don't really. We'll just wait for this new zone, I guess. 
sure we'll see someone sooner or later. Wish I had a slightly better scope. He's going very fast. It's hard to hit him. I'm not sure if that's him shooting down or someone shooting up there. Someone's shooting up, I feel. How's Alfie and the missus? Yeah, good, mate. Both doing well. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Anyone on that? Nope. Oh, it is this guy shooting, but... Let's try and fuck his health up a bit. Yeah, he's shooting at someone else. I'm not sure who... Someone up over here. I'm not sure he's spotted me out yet, really. Gives a good reason to have nice food and beers. Carb loading. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was trying to the biscuit discussion. Right, yep, got you. Nice. Let's move up on this. Someone, these, the glider and this guy are having a right old scrap. Rand. There he is. Good team. Guy's dead, I believe. Yep. Do you have a better scope for me? I've only got quite a crap one. No, nope. okay. Anybody else? What are you doing? <laughs> Just keep crawling around in circles. It's all going to be fine. I thought I saw someone out to the right for a split second there. Well, there's a man. Bring back Larry's day. Yeah, we've done Larry's for a while, have we? Nacho's the new Larry. He's my full-time Larry. Um, it's kind of a very centrally circle here, isn't it? I think we move back down to, to kind of where I was. I've got my snowmobile down here as well if we want to use that. Might jump on it and just get a bit deeper into the zone because, like, running down here looks awful, doesn't it? Let's do this. PUBG players do the craziest things. There is a man on this hill. Ooh, the lights have just changed. It's weird. Oh, there's a man here. Ah, I started emoting. <laughs> Did you just <laughs> accidentally smooshed my buttons in and put my gun away and started emoting? Um, I don't know why my lights went weird. It's a new one. There we go. It's a shame we knew that guy was there and would have been um, quite easy to get him if we hadn't done that. Silly. 
Fun little game though. Gigi. Curse your unnaturally strong grip reflex. Hey Ro, how you doing? Lovely to see you. Let's see if you've getting PS5. Yeah, playing on my PS5, throwing off my grip. I don't know what I managed to how I managed to emote. What is my emote button? It's like left hey, stick and hey. RB or something. It's such a weird control, my hey, emote. Hey. Definitely not done that before. Uh, no, this is on Xbox Series X. I've just I've got a PS5 as well. Boom, 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 boom. Grimini, thank you very much for the gifted sub to roll. Thank you, sir. Iceman Dave, thank you for that 38 month three sub as well, mate. Appreciate the support. I can hear it pissing down outside, as is the uh, only weather that it seems to be allowed for the last two months. Just tuned in for the the um, the accidental emote kill. Yeah. See you later, Yuri. Take it easy. How would you compare the PS5 and the Series X? Seem about the same. They're just consoles. They get have different games on them. I've only played like a little bit of PS5. I got it like a week ago. I've only played Dragon's Dogma on it really, and a very tiny bit of Hell Divers. But just yeah, it's just like you know. Just a console, you, you put games on it and you play them and, you know, you run around and do stuff. Boom, 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 boom. 30 minutes of work left for me. I'm over it. I don't blame you, mate. I've been killed lots of times when climbing or emoting instead of shooting the guy in front of me. Well, the thing that, like, um, catches me out recently is that I keep accidentally, like, I think maybe it's like double-clicking my stick or something sometimes when I'm kind of smooshing my controller in fights and it'll bring up the radial menu where it's like, need ammo or whatever. That's caught me out a few times because I'm just aggressively pushing in my sticks and accidentally, you know, accidentally doing that and then it, you can't shoot. Um, yeah, pulling up the emote wheel is a new one. I don't think I've ever done that before. Not sure how I managed that, really. I think the Xbox is faster for pub. What, like, loads the opens the game faster, Nick? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't tried PUBG on the PS5 yet. We'll give it a go at some stage. I'll stream it on the PS5. I th it's just going to be pretty much exactly the same, to be honest. But I panic smoosh my controller way too many times. It's easily done, isn't it? Biggest difference is the spelling. The spelling is quite diff different. Yeah, that's true. There's no number in the Xbox name either. Important to note that. Yeah, the Where's Series the X... deployment zone? <laughs> hey, Rogue. The Series X certainly loads PUBG pretty quick. Like when you crash out and need to load back in, you can get in fast. The maps open faster on Xbox compared to PS5 when waiting in the lobby. The maps open faster. Like load in faster, I guess you mean. Yeah, we can have a little um a little tester of that at, at some point. Oh, right, like, yeah, so I, I get you. So you, I, I like, get into the lobby quicker. I wonder if that's a host thing or the console thing. Probably, it probably is the console. Quality on YouTube is much better. Yeah, well, on YouTube, you can stream at a much higher bit rate. So on YouTube, I'm streaming at a 20k bit rate. Um, and on Twitch, I'm streaming at an 8k bit rate, which is the maximum I can stream at. So, um... There's, you know, what, two and a half times as much data being sent to YouTube for the stream, basically. It's a sort of simplistic way of looking at it.
Was that the guy who was really near me? I heard a there was a footstep very near me a minute ago. I thought that was a helmet. It's a teapot. I already got a pan. What was it highlighting? Oh, that. Have we not got a helmet yet, honestly? This guy up here, oh hello. Can I have your helmet please? Or this one. It's fine, I got one, but thanks. Let's take this barrel. Because we're pretty much out of ammo for me. Yeah, it's nine. Let's just run this. Here we go. A little way to go. Can I recommend a good headset for the Xbox? Uh, I use Astro A50s. An old set, not the new ones they do now. But I've been using those for years. They've done me well. It's a very expensive headset though. There's another guy up this way, wasn't there? I'm sure there's much more budget-friendly options out there, though. These have lasted me for about six years. I should... Turning it down? She'd no, you don't insult the Queen, for goodness pile. sake! Amazing. She's got a hell of a job on. It's hard work. Oh, is this guy? Is he on the roof? There he is. Who's he shooting at? That guy over there? There's a guy underneath me. Just went in there. In the end, he just whipped out a shotgun. Pulled something out, didn't he? Yeah, just pulled out his pumpy. Cheeky. Cheeky sausage. Yeah, it's pretty low on ammo. That was lovely. Yeah, there's been some quite clean shoot in this game, isn't there? Uh, what's the latest on the van? Nothing really. It's just there. He hasn't had a chance to look at it yet, so I don't know anything about it. No, no update. Um, let's do this because I, I struggle with the, the Org 6. Do better with the M4. Us humans need a comp to be so accurate with the barrel. I mean, he was only about five yards away, wasn't he? It's not like we're if busting out 150 meter six x-rays there. I know they were nice snaps, but... Oh, mate, we were shooting that guy in the face as well. He's still chasing me. Can't believe that. That's harsh. Very harsh. Uh, Leo, thank you so much for the two gifted. Cheers, buddy. Uh, Dowser, 
Hey, Ben, happy midweek. How are the games today? Thank you very much for the Super Chat Dowser. Yeah, good, mate. Just got started, really. Just had a couple. Good to see you. Jess 9 still broken, I see. Oh, it's quite harsh, wasn't it? We literally snapped onto that guy's head and we put my first shot straight into his face. And but just the, the time to kill on that Jess 9. Even I mean, it wasn't too far away, but yeah, I was surprised he put me down. I guess it was the M4 rather than the barrel, but... He did well. Jess 9 does better when you shoot limbs. I mean, he could, he may well have limb shot me. It's probably quite likely. More way busy, busy trying to shoot people in the head. Probably, if we watch the death cam, probably go back and he's like soft aiming or something and just like or hip fired it and hit my limbs. Yeah, I feel quite hard, hard done by there. I think we were. We had aimed in nicely. We fired quickly. I mean, we didn't do like a narrow peak or something, but it felt like, you know, if we snap to the head, normally you, you can win the fight. Yeah, well, it's just, it's more because like, you know, he didn't especially, I didn't really like book it in with him, Crimini. It was just that like the van broke down and I was getting it towed. I was like, can I get it towed to your yard and look at it when you have time? Because it's just like, you know, it's a really small little place and it's just the guy I know quite well who, him and a couple of people and they, they got a lot of stuff on. So um, it's fine. Hopefully I just need to, you know, I, the next time I need, need it is for Silverstone, which isn't till June. So, but hopefully I can get it sorted out next month. The only concern is like stuff with the van sometimes if you need to get parts in it can take a while because you have to like order them in and stuff. Hey Floaty, good to see you mate. Just noticed you were trying out Dragon's Dogma 2. How did you get on with it? Yeah, it's great. Really enjoying it. I was playing it on PS5 yesterday. I streamed a little bit of it um, and I've been playing some more offline. Enjoying it a lot. I'm going to play it a bunch next week, not on stream and start doing some YouTube videos for it next week and onwards. So that'll be the main YouTube thing, I think, for a, for a few weeks. We'll test the waters with that. Wacky Jackie did this whole breakdown of the JS9 and with graphs and spreadsheets, the JS9 kills faster with limb shots than headshots from a lot of different automatic guns. Yeah, it's pretty wild, right? Come on, solo matchmaking. I saw one of the new electric VW campers up close yesterday. They're pretty sexy. I have no need for one, but kind of made want one. Was it actually converted as a camper or was it just like the, um, as the, as like a van? The, um, <laughs> not the Pico bus. That's PUBG. The ID buzz. Yeah, they're, um, they're very weird looking, aren't they? A friend of mine had one on loan for like a week, like a press one, because he works for a camper van company. So I went and saw that one. And, um, and I have seen one or two just out and about in the wild now as well. They're odd, but I like them. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm, you know, I'm all for definitely like, you know, electric vehicles and such. But um, yeah, the, the ID buzz, I'm not sure I like the, I'm not sure I'm big on the, the look. It's very space age. Yeah, I'm not sure they've... Um, what's the range on them? I don't know. Don't know. Um, yeah, they've not uh, doing like a camper a version of it yet. But I mean, I guess you could convert one yourself. But they're a bit smaller than ones you'd convert to a camper, I think. Yeah, they're insanely expensive. I mean, anything. Any VW bus is insanely expensive. You know, their new campers are going to set you back 70, 80 grand plus for, a, you know... a not even for the the buzz just for the normal diesel petrol ones be 
Yeah, I don't think the ID buzzers are campers, really. That they're just they're just like people carries at the moment. You need more money than sense. Yeah, sadly, I'm not in that situation. Maybe one day. I either need to gain some money or lose some cent. One of those is going to be easier than the other. Why? Well, I, I just kind of assumed they were campers initially as well, but they're um yeah, because you just because they're that kind of shape. Do you guys have the new Ford F-150 Lightning over there yet? I, is that like a fighter jet? <laughs> I've never heard of that. <laughs> Sounds like military hardware. Oh, it's a pickup. Yeah, we don't really... There's not like a big market for... It's not like America where like fucking 70% of vehicles are pickup trucks. They're not that common over here. Like pickups, really. Like, if you're a, you know, if you're a tradesman or whatever in the UK, then you just, you just have a van, generally. It's a massive pickup truck, like massive. Yeah, we yeah transit vans exactly transit vans or little caddy vans or whatever. Yeah, we don't people don't drive like massive fuck off pickup trucks really in the UK. You get a few pickups around, but not really. They're, they're re relatively uncommon. A Bedford van, yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you're like a removal. You're in Texas. They're, they're really quite, you know, in America and Canada, pickups are like, seems to be like the main thing, don't they? I wonder why that is. I guess like Ford's a big American company, isn't it? America. Big, like big things. Big country. Lots of space. It's hardly big. That's a tiny one. Hey, Ollie. How you doing? You got into med school. Congratulations, mate. That's fantastic news. Well done. Got a big truck and you love it. Nice. Yeah, I wonder what... I'm curious what it is, though, that, like, originally maybe... It's probably just the Ford thing, I suppose, isn't it? Because Ford is Ford... Is it fair to say Ford's the probably the biggest... You know, the most common trucks you guys get in the US. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm amused. Ford and Chevrolet. Ford is the most bought truck. You get lots of Fords in the UK, but not, not trucks. You get like, you know, Fucking Ford Focus and stuff, right? Like little, little Fords. Yeah, maybe more like country, country living, I guess. You know, out on the, you know, on shitty, shitty roads in the countryside, driving around on your, you know, thousand acre ranch. Or whatever, you know, you've been up to. American things. If you live in the countryside in the UK, people tend to drive, um, like, 4 by 4s rather than trucks. So, you know, Range Rovers and that kind of stuff. Is there a comp under this? There is. I need meds and I need a hat and
Ford Chevy GMC and Ram. It's risky, but whatever. Got a big truck truck for all our guns and barbecue. Exactly. Need that, do need that, don't need that, don't need that, do need that, cool. Trucks are like boats, easier to have a friend who has one and borrow it when you like. Uh, Wags farmers and people who watch ITV2 are the only type of people who get 4x4s in the UK. Yeah, I mean, I say people in the countryside buy them and also just fucking everybody. They seem to be everywhere. People insist on driving 4x4s even though they, like, just live in a town and never drive on a bumpy country road in their life. And their mum, mum tanks. Oh, look, it's a telephone. Yeah, it's wild the amount you see, like, just fucking driving around town. You do much off-roading in that, do ya? Got to take up as much space as possible for the school run. Yeah, the school... Certainly the school run is, like, absolutely chock full of 4x4s, isn't it? It's mad. What's up, Shetland Tony? How you doing, sir? Lovely to see you. Try and get some airdrops. Is that here a plane? We have an EV and a Subaru. A Subaru? Not much you can't do with that combo. Yeah, I like it. Got all bases covered. I heard the... thought I heard the plane. Maybe it's the train? You sound pretty passionate about hating EVs, Josh. Can't stand them. Have you got any thoughts on what you think a good way to help, you know, reduce the masses of pollution created by petrol and diesel cars is? We need hydrogen, man! I love how even in Scotland they're called Chelsea Tractors. Is there not like an equivalent, um, like posh Scottish town or city they might be referred to? I don't know where this plane went. I heard it. It's disappeared. I towed my boat to go fishing. Yeah, you ain't going to do that with a courser. Give it a go. Hey, Nistico, how you doing? Let me the number of driving licenses available. She's that with dogs. Dog licenses. We need dog licenses. Stop a bunch of stupid fuckers getting dogs. Do I see the crate? Hmm. Or pets in general? Well, yeah, maybe, but particularly dogs because, you know, the nature of um, some of them having the ability to cause harm to others. Whereas, you know, hamsters, not such a big deal.
Really enjoyed your casting of the tournament on Friday. Thank you, mate. It was super fun. It was a lot of fun. One of the most fun events I've done with PUBG. Um, over the over the many years I've been doing events with them. You know, I was um, very happy with that. It sounds like you got a lot of moaning to do, but no solutions for anything, Josh. So there's not really a debate there. It's just a man. It's just man shouting about a thing he doesn't like. Random little thing. I think the hydrogen thing just sounds like it sounds like what people bark when they, you know, like petrol and they just want to moan about EVs. So they're like, wow, oh, wait for hydrogen, which doesn't seem to be... I've not seen anything about that doing anything, really. Aha! That's what we're looking for. Do you like biscuits? It's just interesting. I, I was surprised there's... There's always seems to be lots of people who are like, oh, EVs are shit, but never have any any suggestion of any kind of useful solution to any kind of care for the environment. Just uh, just saying EVs are shit. You have to believe there's a problem before you have a solution. Yeah, that's probably a good way of looking at it, I suppose, isn't it? This is going to be very open. Another P90. It didn't work out very well for us last time, but fingers crossed. Do we risk checking all the others? Try and be quick about it. That's useful. Famas, we don't care. I like to just chuck the other stuff on the floor because there's a chance that if someone comes up to that crate from the other side, then they might actually miss. Um, they might miss that three helmet. Buddy. Good aggression. I like it. 10 out of 10. Take the Irish approach. Nothing wrong with a horse and cart. <laughs> How's public transport in Ireland? I've not really spent much time there. Um, keep the C4. Why not? Can you drop helmets in the trunk? Uh, yeah, you could. This doesn't have a trunk, though. The, um, the, um, this guy does. So we could put a spare helmet in there. I think that I never would end up using it, though. I feel like you always, my car gets destroyed or. It's awful in Dublin. Shocking. Yeah, I went to Dublin once a few years ago. Um, I think we did like maybe two, two nights, three nights, maybe probably two. But we didn't have to use any public transport. I mean, the airport was fine. I think we got a bus from the airport, I guess, into town. I can't really remember. Yeah, I think we got a bus. But didn't do anything else. I mean, it was quite a small city. So as a tourist in that situation, it was okay just to walk around. But obviously, there's the wider residential areas of it as well that you probably wouldn't visit as just a day tourist because it's the fastest growing city what um dublin sorry there's so many different conversations going on it's 
keeps doubling and doubling. <sighs> yep, nice. Thanks. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> Buses from the airport tend to be good. Yeah, keep the tourists happy. I finished watching Three Body Problem. Seems like we're having nothing to worry about for another 400 years. I you didn't really establish what that was about. I have no idea what that show is. It'd certainly be nice to see our country have a much better um, public transport system. It's so disgusting how, like, expensive trains are. Like, it infuriates me that for so many journeys in the UK, it's cheaper to just... You might as well just drive when there's a, you know, rather than get a train for these long journeys because it's cheaper to, you know, maintain and run a car and buy petrol for it than it is to get a train because trains are so expensive in the UK. Damn. <laughs> Paid actors are back. Thanks, mate. Like, trains are... There's lots of train lines all over the UK. It's much better connected with trains than the US is. I know US folk have said the train's not really a... You know, the, the connections between places aren't great in the US. But, like, they're so expensive in the UK. It's crazy. Going up there. Oh, it's the glider guy shooting at someone. There's a guy on that roof, and I think there is a guy up on that. Pretty sure there's a guy up here. Trains in Japan are amazing. They are very good. Yeah, very, very good. Train to Birmingham. Uh, Birmingham to Yorkshire. 120 mile trip. 86 quid one way. It's crazy, isn't it? I'm just going to get out this and see what happens. That's what happened. Weren't ready for that, were you, son? Um, we've got a load of ammo left, have we? Privatization of rail was a great idea. Yeah, it worked out well, didn't it? Prague, public transport's really good. Uh, no, tack gear's not a thing anymore. Nice push, thank you. I think, though, pushing those things is quite, quite easy. They're hard to defend unless you use them a lot and you're often at the top when people dismount. Let's go do these other crates. Because it's hard to kind of gate... I'm not that he was super aware anyway. He was just laying prone. He had no chance, but... Like, it's, um, you kind of pop off of the top of them a little bit strangely. Go on this rock here. So it's it's a little hard to sort of judge where they're actually going to, you sort of teleport slightly when, um, when you actually, like, detach from the little line thing. Remember, thermals were a thing here. I 
I think we just, um, where's this fucking one? Can't find the crate. Oh, okay, interesting. We got very, like, we need to check these other crates for another gun, really. But. Got no boost? Oh, Jesus, okay. It's interesting. Um, hmm. Would love to loot that guy I killed down there. I think we got to go back in here. Get a boost. I wonder if this guy's going to try and make a play. Yeah, we got to go back here and find a boost, really. Like, the level 3 helmet's no good if we got 75% health. Hiding there. Um, do we ditch our P90 yet? That's the question. I don't really want to. I think we, I think we commit. Someone spawns in Train Simulator? I assume you mean Chewy, because I don't think I've ever played Train Sim. Normally fair to blame Chewy for things, isn't it? No boosts. Hey Biggs, how you doing? It'll be fine. It's going to... Oh, hello. Kill this guy and take his boost. It's quite far away now. Annoyingly. So we've gone the other way. Go and look and see if anyone's still watching these, because we might get a syringe out of one of them. And there's also that bike there for an escape, although he, did, he shot a lot of tires, that guy, didn't he? So who knows what is left over here. He's still on that hill. I just think he... Oh, he's, there he is, actually. Man, he's just holding... Is, is he in the zone there? He's kind of right on the edge, and he's just going to stay there, isn't he? Why did Chewy move work? Uh, yeah, pretty much. With his missus' his work, really. But He's got a little shield up now. Yeah, we can't go down into that dip as much as I want to to try and find a, another gun. Oh, you're dead. Problem is, I gotta run across here now. But it's better than getting stuck down in that hole, I think. I mean, we could have smoke pushed him a little bit or smoked down in the hole, but it would have been pretty, pretty bold, wouldn't it? And plenty of smoke. Jammer might be hand. Already got eyes on me. Well, that was close. Oh, that was bang on. He's got a fucking self resi course he has. Well, at least it means we can get in position while he does his thing. Fucking get rid of self resis. Get him out of the game. This, guy, this guy's pushing him. Get him. Oh. Killed him. I'll headshot you again, mate. Don't think about it. Got to be careful with this P90. There's not a lot in it. Thank you, though. That's handy. What do you got here? He's got an M4 if I want it. Cool. He's dug in like an Alabama tick. <laughs> nice. Can 
Gonna get shot in the butt trying to kill this guy. I mean, I've got one as well, in fairness. <laughs> Seems everybody's got them. I think this other guy would have pushed over now. If I was him, that's what I would have done. Hmm, there's only, there's only him, well, two left. Is one of them that guy? He could be on that ridge there. That's a vehicle, it looks like a glider. Don't know what that is, but I'm shot it anyway. Gotta be down here, right? And then this guy who's throwing the smoke. I feel like there's gonna be a guy just like down here somewhere. In the bush just here? Oh, hello. Oh, that's not good. I think it's the guy at the back that tagged me there. Yeah, I think the guy, there's a guy behind, this is the guy that I got earlier, and then there's someone at the bottom that actually knocked me for third party. Did you? So I don't get rid of the P90. Yeah, it works. It worked well up to the end there. We would have been all right, I think, dealing with just two. We just about had enough bullets for it, but yeah, just unlucky really to get caught by the, the third party while we were fighting the um that guy. Juju, good game. Couple of decent games to start. I mean, apart from the first one where I died because I accidentally emoted, but I'll take it. Would you ever do a TBG versus Nana clan private match? Um, what, like a custom game thing? I don't know. It depends if there was enough interest in doing it, really. Two things I'd love to see removed in PUBG. Thermal scope and stop letting players under 100 playing with the rest of us. Because they team kill or just because like they're not they're not good enough. Thermal scope, yeah, I'd happily see it go. I, I don't I don't really like it. 
I enjoy how smokes, you know, the dynamic of gameplay that smokes create. I enjoy, and yeah, and thermals kind of spoil that. They're only on one map, which isn't always in rotation anyway, but I'd still rather, I'd be happy to see it gone. Because, because you think a lot of them are cheaters? Interesting. An ad break is now playing. I had a couple of okay games on Paramo recently. It's not my favourite map in the world because of the, the pacing of the zones, but um, I've had a couple of fun games on it. You mean like a 10v10 on Sanok or Paramo? Yeah, I don't know if it'd be any good. I think it would almost be... It'd be I kind of like the idea of doing a... Um, like the Friday, the event I did on Friday with PUBG. You know, we could like recreate that, you know, in an in an unofficial capacity with with console. You know, have have two squads of console streamers um, playing together in public lobbies, separate public lobbies, chasing points with with myself or someone. You know, hosting and casting it. You know, you could do that without without needing it to be an official PUBG event. Could be quite fun. You know, you could have like a. I don't know, a na Nacho Sweaty Squad and a whoever else Sweaty Squad and then chase him for points. People would be kind of down for that. Plus it's a bit less crazy organization than trying to do like, um, you know, organize 64 players and stuff in a, some sort of big tournament. I didn't hear any other um, shoots, disappointingly, because I wanted to pans or someone. What's up, Jacko? How you doing, sir? Great to see you. There's, this is such a massive area, is there? Nobody? Jeez, it's going to be a long Paramo game. How's Project Campervan coming along? Uh, yeah, right. I mean, it's just... It's at, at the garage at the moment, broken down. Um... It's just kind of sitting there, really, till uh, until it's fixed. So it's just it's just there. Forty three at the start. I mean, there was sixty in the plane. But it's already. I mean, this is. Ugh, do we even play this? I'm not sure I can be, even be bothered. There's forty three left. Look, we still got. Just can't be asked. It's, it takes so long on this map. I don't want to do it. Like, the circles are so slow. It's still pretty much a 20-minute match on Paramo. Considering you play Erangel, and that's like, could be 26 minutes. And then Paramo is like 20 minutes. But you have 64 players. Like we're, And then we're already down to 40 players there. We're about two minutes in. Just be, it would just be so boring sometimes. Give me something better, please, PUBG. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just kind of the nature of uh, owning a, a very old vehicle, isn't it? I think in a in a couple of years' time, could be tempted to to sell it and buy something a little bit more modern. You know, still a well used van, but just something that's like you know within like twenty years old rather than forty years old. I'm kind of mulling over the idea of like whether I would be up for converting something myself, but I just feel like it'd end up just taking me like a year or something and I, I don't know it's a lot to learn to do with like the electrics and carpentry and uh, a million other things that I don't really know how to do what's up Justin how you doing it's very common to get killed by low level cheaters oh I don't really feel like I ever get killed by cheaters on PUBG console not not a concern for me i must say i mean i don't play ranked maybe you're talking about ranked but are you doing any custom games no none planned there's lots of good youtube videos like with tips and stuff and guides on how to you know do all this stuff but it's still it's a lot of time, isn't it? I mean, maybe that's what I can spend my time doing when I'm not watching F1 because the F1 is quite boring for a season or two. I can, um, you know, use that time sorting out a van. It would be fun. It would be a nice project. Just get like a, yeah, transit or something. I'm on EU and I, yeah, I don't think it's bad. I don't have any issues with cheaters, to be honest. I think it's fine. I'm buying an old transit long wheelbase, then converting to a camper. Nice. I was watching a video. Uh, let me find the video. There's a guy on YouTube. He had some good stuff on electrics. I was watching the other day. Uh, Greg Virgo was the channel. I'm trying to find what the um, van was that he was doing. Uh, a Fiat Ducato he was doing. Ignore this. Hey, you. Shut up, YouTube ads. I keep clicking Canary. the wrong button. There we go. Um, what do you say it was similar to? I don't know, one of the other ones. But, you know, just a kind of a medium-sized van, really, isn't it? But, like, if I was going to do one, I would do something like that. Um, oh, this is on. I'm playing on console, right? Yeah, it's, I think it's a lot worse on PC. Yeah, some because if I was gonna get like a custom converter camper or convert a van into a camper van, I'd want one that I could stand up full height or I guess get a van and then have a pop top installed into it. But obviously, that's a lot of money. Um, but, I, you know, have the van we have at the moment, I can stand up in it. And that's really fucking nice. Hey, Space Community, how you doing? Have you seen, you were seeing rumors of Parrot Signs going to Red Bull? Yeah, someone mentioned that earlier. I think they'd be great. Give a bit more of a fight between the drivers, wouldn't it? We need that fix after the emergency flare custom game the other week. Yeah, that was so much fun. Love that. Yeah, yeah, we're on uh, YouTube and Twitch. Bit of both. And pretty much every stream is basically a multi-stream these days. Get the fucking AK out. Uh oh, he's running. Oh my God. Stop dodging everything. Honestly. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Stop trying to shoot me and shoot me. It took me so long because I actually picked this deagle and then he put his fucking gun away right at the start. It wasn't very helpful. The shit hit the fan. It's fine. I just wanted to make it look a bit more challenging so you don't all shout paid actor. 
I think I succeeded. Another job well done. There we go. It was a bit, bit cleaner, wasn't it? We're, we're getting better. Getting better by the minute. Just notice your YouTube subs are up to 101k now. 200k on the way. Yeah, they they go up, they go down. It's uh, I'm not as, as soon as we've now we've hit 100k subs on YouTube, I've completely stopped really looking at that metric. It's not something that has any real bearing on on much at all. It was nice to hit the 100k as an achievement milestone, um, but now I can just focus on you know, making the content I want to make and making good content. Get this two bag. Much better. It was a whole effort. We got a runner. I saw some video of a guy who moved his entire family into a converted double-decker bus. Why for like four or five kids? Oh my God. I mean, it'd be, you know, yeah, it's quite a small environment, isn't it? There's something about the appeal of being like, well, if I sold my house and then wasn't paying a massive mortgage, that would be quite nice. But, um, yeah, I don't think I want to, I don't think I want to live in a van. It'd be nice to maybe have like, you know, a, I like the idea of having some transient years where you go and like live in a bunch of different places. That'd be, that'd be great. I'd love to go and live in some other countries and uh, experience them properly. I don't, you don't really get to experience other countries when you're just there for a few days or a week or two. Cheers, Chris and Max Hughes. Who knows? Maybe we'll make that happen one day. Did anyone notice an increase in team killing in the last week? I haven't really played any randoms, so it's not something I've come across. Um, it is a bit notorious with uh, playing with randos, isn't it? They're the old team kills. I heard through the Twitch grapevine that you're running an ultra soon. Hey, uh, Real Twin. I am. Yes, I'm doing um, my first ultra. I'm doing the North Downs Way 50 miler in May this year. A couple of months' time. Got to go quite a way. Is there a good vehicle here? You're going to have to go and get the car over there. I didn't really... Is this me? Possibly. I don't see him. It wasn't it. It wasn't at me. Ha! One of the things I wanted. Oh, hello, mate. Where are you shooting from? Oh, you're in the middle. It's a oh, it's a ball. Why is there a fucking... Why is there a bot firing a bolt at me from down there? Okay, where's this... Where's the real guy? He was over this way somewhere. Honestly. Who gave that bot a freaking canine? Well, good bit of practice. You can tell they're a bot just because of where they where they aren't, you know, when it's a player, like you can see me looking at all the places where I expected there to be a player. And then you never notice where the bot is because they're standing in such a random, stupid place. It's just not somewhere you would, you know, you think to check. Um, okay, we'll just go towards where these shots were because that's um, where there's a car. So.
Very nice. Looks like a fun trail race. I got a couple of trail ultras this season. You're training for as well. Oh, nice. Excellent. In, in the UK or? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I've, I've been doing a lot of trail running the last few years and I've, I've done a couple of trail marathons the last couple of years and longish trail races, but yeah, not done a, an ultra yet. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I just love those long, long endurance trail runs. It's just super what I'm into these days. We'll take that thumb grip actually. Better than a nun grip. You got 18 kills earlier with an M2496X. That's oh, great, isn't it? Hello, sir. Disconnected or something, I think. How did the PUBG MCing go on Friday? It was fantastic, thank you. Really good event. It's been really positive feedback on it. I think it's a really great idea for an event that PUBG did. Um, hopefully they'll do some more of them because I think it was super fun for, you know, for people watching, for people taking part. Just a really nice idea for a uh, an event and they've not really done, ever done anything like that before as an official PUBG event. I'm in the US. My big one this year is Superior 100 Mile in September. Nice. Oh, good luck with that. I lived in a bus years ago doing festivals. Best couple of years ever. Met some great people. Nice. Yeah, we used to go to a lot of festivals back in the day. Uh, not um, not whilst living in a bus, unfortunately, but uh, we did go to a bunch. Met a lot of cool people. What's my secret to avoiding chafing on my long runs? Um, I, I feel like I'm just kind of lucky that I don't really tend to chafe too much. I've kind of experimented around a little bit with... It's take. I've gone through a lot of different pairs of shorts till I found a pair of shorts... That I tend to wear for my longer runs that just don't really rub. Um, but it's not really an issue I've ever really had with like my running tops and stuff. If I'm doing a long race, then I'll just wax some Vaseline like on my skin around my like groin and stuff just in case. But uh, for a bit of extra help. But yeah, it's not a, not really a, a big problem that I've ever ever had to deal with. Do I ever listen to the Bad Boy Running Podcast? No, I haven't really listened to any running podcast, to be honest. I shall, um, I should try and keep that in mind, though. Hey, buddy. So far on the blue. We are, we are quite deep, aren't we? We've, we've gone deep. Not as deep as that guy. I mean, he was committing to it. Just hanging out by the bridge. Having, having a whale of a time. Hey, Miggy. How you doing? Ooh. Yeah, I went out running this morning and felt felt pretty good which is reassuring because i did a my probably my highest mileage weekend that i've ever done at the weekend just gone and did about 50 kilometers over the the two days um but yeah went running this morning and did 16k and some fast bits and all felt recovered and fine which was nice so building up nicely it's a bit difficult because i've got this training going on but also have keep having weekends where i've got like other stuff on and missing long runs but also, it's, just, it's no harm in having a few recovery weeks where you're doing a bit lower mileage, I suppose, when your body's taking a battering. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Catherine. What's up? Oh, it's a big hole. I played football on Sunday, got back, felt okay, went for a run. Let's go meet the family. Deeply regret it. We're nearly in the play zone. We nearly made it. I hear another car somewhere. It's over there. 
Am I coming over for the New York City Marathon? I have no plans to do that. I don't have any other races entered apart from this ultra at the moment. Well, and another similar local trail race, I guess. But um, I don't have any plans to do any road marathons anytime soon. I'm kind of more into my long trail endurance events at the moment. But I would, I will do some more road marathons at some other point. I don't know if I'd go to America and do one, maybe. I feel like I'd probably more likely go to like Europe because it'd be a lot cheaper. Like going to America to do a marathon is going to be full on. Whereas like maybe going to like Berlin, Berlin, Berlin marathon would be pretty sweet to do. And I love going to Berlin anyway. You never know. Sometimes you get lucky. Random little buggy on its on its bonnet. What are you doing there, buddy? There's a man. Surprise! It did actually seem to take him um, remarkably by surprise. I felt like it was quite a, quite a loud entry. Can't use the blue chip transmitter. No. Let's see. Good basement key. Whatever. We're not going to go in one, are we? Oh, man. <gasps> Ambitious. Hey, Kraut, how you doing? Because I shout surprise, exactly. Hey, buddy, I'm over here now. You see that story about the Barclay Marathons with Jasmine Paris? You bet your ass I did. The video at the end of it was great. Can you imagine? But, like, not only was she the first ever woman to finish the Barkley Marathons. But she was also... She finished... Was it a 1 minute and 48 seconds under the... Within the cutoff, the 60-hour cutoff of this, like, 100-mile super elevation event. Imagine that. Finishing within 1 minute and 48 seconds of the cutoff. Or it doesn't... Or you don't finish. It's crazy. 60 hours. And because not only, you know, you finish that close to the cutoff, that means that she's she must have done, you know, at least the last 25% of that race, if not more, knowing that she was going to be cutting it super close. Like the, the mental, like forget the physical endurance, but the mental endurance there is just in, you know, insane. You know, these vents are... As much as much mental endurance events as they are physical endurance events. Looks like North Downway is relatively flat. Yeah, it's not. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's kind of. It's all relative, isn't it? It's not the hilliest that I will have done, per. But it's yeah, it's you know, yeah, what seventeen hundred meters is a good amount of climb. The amount of climb per per mile is not you know not massive, but um. Yeah, it, it'll drain you, but I, ooh, I think round here is where I live is quite hilly, so all the training that I do is on, you know, some kind of hills, so I think it'll be, um, you know, it won't feel too, uh, too alien. Ugh. And that was so close, that first one. I've been playing around with the um, Garmin Pace Pro, which I'd never really used before. I got like a Garmin Forerunner Seven Four Five the other day. It's like one of the cheaper Forerunners, one of the cheaper Garmins. So I could try that out, and that's quite useful for that sort of thing. 
Are these like the 200 mile trail runs? Uh, the one I'm doing is not, it's a 50 mile. Oh my God. Trump, he's got to go behind him. There we go. I am not Arabic. Well, thanks for confirming. Oh, it's a bot, bot behind him. That was miles off. Jesus. Uh, yeah, the Barkley Marathon stuff was was crazy. Massive achievement by um, by Jasmine there. Excuse me. Kind of right in the middle of the play zone here. We'll just float about and see what we can do. I don't really want to go down to town. Oh, well, I think I got a tire. He yeah, just, just did a cease. Someone else got him. Don't shoot me, I'm very low. Man, we were lasering him nicely there, considering Matt, our health was kind of fucked. Oh, no. <laughs> we're in a pretty bad state. I don't have a lot of ammo here either. Oh, please be known in this little spot I just drove from. I think there's literally a man here. Don't shoot me, sir. There's a guy that we basically drove past just here. Hmm. Well, guess it didn't stun him. Gigi thought you killed me. Guess not. I was were you one of those players? The guy that I was drive by. Bump. Seven 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 seven. Do other players see your tracer bullets or not? I got into a debate with someone the other day. Uh, no, you don't see. There's no tracer rounds that you see. You see the like the bullet impact. The only tracers you see were on Haven. It had tracer rounds right and then you see tracers if you're watching in the spectator cam i think it shows them i might show them on maybe shows them on death cam as well i'm not sure or if you're watching in like spectate view on an enemy possibly but on like like custom game spectate view i think it shows them stuns don't work i mean that one was behind him in fairness it was behind him and then the way i kind of peeked up I probably shouldn't have bothered throwing the stun because then he'd seen that come over. He knew exactly where I was going to pick up from, right? But yeah, I do find stuns very inconsistent. That one, it was behind him, I guess. So it would have given him audio stun, but he would have been able to see fine. Uh, how do you get the car to coast when switching seats? You've got to keep the accelerator held down. Tap A to switch seats and then let go of the accelerator. If you let go of the accelerator, like as you tap it, then it will just slam the, the brake on when you switch seats. That's the trick. Stuns work great. I can't see anything when I throw. 
Yeah, I mean, there's certainly plenty of times where you throw a stun and it feels like it was right on them, absolutely perfect, and they just step out and it seems like it hasn't affected them at all. They are, um, yeah, can be quite inconsistent. To use these solo cues. <laughs> Should have shot the guy. Play some Larry's. Nah, I'm all right. I enjoy the solos. Surprising the solo queue is so much slower than duos. The duo queue is fairly quick. We've been doing that recently. Hey, Minzy. How you doing? Yeah, it's been good. It's been quite consistent, really. We've just keep having like six, seven kill games, I seem to remember. Apart from that last one we... Died early. Oh no, the, we had the, the Paramo one where I blew myself up because I didn't want to play Paramo. <laughs> yeah, they've been, you know, pretty, pretty consistently all right so far. Generally shooting pretty well, playing pretty well. Just need it all to come together. Don't forget, by the way, that all the PUBG replays go on the second YouTube channel now. Literally every single weekday, there's a new PUBG video for you to watch. Every weekday at 6 p.m. UK time. It's five PUBG videos a week on the TBG Plays YouTube channel. Make sure you're following it if you're into that kind of thing. The link's in chat for the, both the Twitch and the YouTube viewers. An ad break is now playing. Where's the fun back deployment zone? I'm embarrassed I've been missing your daily vids. Only recently found the second channel. That's right. You got it now. I mean, it's, it's easy, easily missed. I think ho the hopefully the YouTube algorithm should help us out, right? If you watch PUBG console videos on YouTube by anyone, then it's likely that YouTube will start suggesting those to you, I would say. So hopefully people who have missed that memo will um will get them recommended to them through through the algo. Because that channel is, you know, very specific in the content it does. It's only PUBG replays, so hopefully the algorithm won't get too confused. Fun bags, fun bags. And this channel is going to be for live streaming and for doing tips and guide videos on random different games that I fancy doing them on. Um... The next of which we're going to be on Dragon's Dogma when I have some time to sort those out, which is going to be next week. Uh, I won't be streaming too much next week because I'm going to be sorting out videos for Double D. Dragon's Dogging. Fuck me, the count. There we go. Dragon's Dog what? Dragon's Dogma 2. It was, it's really fun. I'm really getting into it. I could do with just a few days to sit there and binge it all day, to be honest. I don't have that time, so I will make I will make do. We'll see how we get on.
Uh, no, it is on all platforms. I, I'm just playing on the PS5 because I watched a graphics comparison video on YouTube and the textures on PS5 were better than on the Xbox for some reason. So uh, they may change the graphic options, but I've just got this PS5 and I was like, well, I'll, I'll try it on the PS5 because I haven't bought anything on the PS5 yet. Um, Helldivers is the one that's PlayStation specific. Surprise! My new technique, yelling surprise at them. Been quite effective so far. Imagine hot dropping after waiting so long for a game. What am I doing? We need a surprise command. Yeah, we do, don't we? Well, I say hot dropping. Dropping on another player is maybe pushing the definition there. Uzi 9mm. Have a little look around. I assume it requires Series S and X. Uh, I don't know. It might be available in the older ones. I think given... The level of performance, I would say it's probably not... If it is available on the older consoles, it's probably not worth playing on them. Oh, look, go on then. Look, there's a, this here as well, right? Give it a whirl. But we'll... Um, we'll change this out for, like, the Scar, maybe, or something. So we can use that for mid-range. Or an M4, maybe. It's org for a minute. Who's in nine? Uh, and we'll we'll go back and get that. Oh, there's an extendo there. We'll go back anyway because we need the ammo for the Uzi. Cheers, Phil Woody. Appreciate that. It was the scary war cry. <laughs> We're in the zone. The car's not very accessible here, though. Where do we drop our our old Uzi? Over here. That one. What we wanted the ammo. Yelling surprise would be great if we had proxy chat, <laughs> wouldn't it? Ooh, where's that? Right. There, pretty much. Let's see if we can get this. We're going to be quite late to it, but, you know, if it goes uncontested, we can probably find that. I don't know what, like, 
what to go for. I think I think I need to just stick with an M4 if I'm going to do like spray AR spraying. I, the the org I just seem to be all over the place when I try like full auto long scope spraying. Um, it's kind of creepy. I assume this is always playing. <laughs> It's like some kind of trap, isn't it? There we go. Na 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 something. How about on April Fool's Day, random death boxes turn into jack-in-the-boxes? They just suddenly pop out a bot, jumps out, starts emoting at you. Can you see the crate over there? I think it's further back, like up on the hill. We need a an MK-14. A MUK-14. Would be lovely. Would be the perfect accompaniment, I would say. Yeah, the um, the guy on the balcony who had an M249 He just watched us dumping stuff in that pile. What a lad. What a bloody lad. What's up, Juan? How you doing? Yeah, game's been fun, mate. Nothing massive so far, but um, no wins, but been uh, been playing fairly well, I think. Happy. Happy with my performance. It's all that matters. Another plane coming already. Early second plane. Right, so there's my mark. And I think the crate's going to be... So I feel like it's a little bit harder to spot with, like, the new colouring. Or the temporary, like, holiday colouring. So it's quite a nasty area, really. There's so many little dips that it could sit in and you could drive right past it and not see it. I think we've got to go for this new one. Let's just have a very quick look up here in case it's, like, right here. Okay, what's this? Uh, ooh, 280. Uh, it's going to be close. I reckon if we stayed here and looked around a bit, we'd probably find this first one. But... Go for the new one. 280. I don't see it. Take this bike. It was there. You just went past it. Oh. You passed it on your right. Okay. We'll go back and have a look then. Now on your left. Thanks. These are all useful communications. Oh, yeah. It's right there. I see it. Thanks. That's been done. 280 for the other one. Did they leave anything? No. Not worth a look. It's behind you! Thanks, chat. You're the best. Could have told me it had been looted already if you'd been looking properly, wouldn't you? You'd really seen it. Left! Now right! The blind leading the blind comes to mind. Oh, hello. It's just closer than I thought. Is there someone in this compound waiting to kill me? Oh my god, it's P90s all day, isn't it? I'm oh, sorry, Uzi, but I mean, we're not. We don't leave a. You know. We don't leave a P90 for an Uzi. Not in this day and age. By the tree! It's on the rock! Wasn't looted when you first saw it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, 
Can I hide a bike here? It's not really hidden, is it? I was thinking of just chilling here because people are going to come across this this bridge, right? I love a P90, but just this the ammo anxiety. You need to find two P90s, really. Then you're okay. Especially doing things like this, you know. I reckon we can just sit a spirit of orange backpack. It's very obvious. I wanted to just be near the edge so we could pop up and try and spray someone in the face if they come over the bridge. We'll chill here. It's all your fault, chat. It's all your fault. Go on, give us another plane. We'll get some more some more goodies. You'd be more camouflaged in the water. <laughs> oh, look, it's just a happy little duck. The perfect crime. Yeah, it's quite quite garish, isn't it? Oh, look, the other one had a... It did have an MK14 in it. Oh, I could have done with that. Would have loved that. Still time. If you look down the P90, you see the bullets. Ah, that's cool, right? I like that. There's only one bloody coming. I guess they don't have to cross, but I mean, you know, it's, you, you could do just, you know, something to do. Just a little, a little job. A little bit of busy work. Oh, it looks very green over there, doesn't it? Been dumping raw sewage. We're at it again. Hey hey. I've never looked down on this empty to see if they're actually correct. I'll try and remember to do it. Doubtful is my initial initial thought um well now they might be more inclined to cross circles circles coming this way i haven't put my bike in a place that's very easy to hop on an emergency to be honest it's very open but whatevs Doesn't that inspect my gun? Oh, that inspects my gun. Yeah, there's all the bullets. Nice. Jesus. Look at Warren. He's got the MKs killing everyone. I can't believe not a single soul has come this way. We committed to this now. I can't drive off now. Hey Reaper, how you doing? Lovely to see ya. Hope you're doing well. Top three loadouts. Go. Oh, like um. Oh. Sounded like it was getting closer and closer. Um. I feel like Beryl. Beryl Dragonov, I'm kind of quite into at the moment. Oh. Forgot I didn't have a sniper. Um Groza MK14 or Groza Orm. I feel like the one of those two is gonna be my favourite. Like if I wanted to be if I could pick anything and to try and win games, it'd be a Groza and an MK14. Easily. B 
But yeah, I mean, Beryl as a primary is what I've been kind of using a lot recently. It's worked really nicely for me. Getting used to that again. How do you adjust the bigger scope depths? You can't... What? 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 Very solid. Was it nine? Well, if you did want to cross this bridge, you ain't you ain't gonna do it. I'll tell you that. Just just so you know. Hello. It's over in the blue there somewhere. Oh, mate. Oh! GG's. Hey, Choco, how you doing? Uzi or Vector in VSS on Sanok? Yeah, but you don't never get to play Sanok anymore, so it's kind of a pointless <laughs> scenario. <laughs> when was the last time I had a game on fucking Sanok? It's in rotation once every four or five weeks. So I have normally two or three days in which I might get a chance to play a game on Sanok when I'm playing PUBG. So I might end up getting two or three Sanok games once every five weeks. Which is a shame. Yeah, Sanok used to be really fun for like, I'd love running a, an SMG, like an Uzi, and then something with a, like a 3 or a Zoom 6, like a QBZ with a Zoom 6 or a 3 -er. Or Uzi VSS on Sanok was a lot of fun. My poor Sanok. We still should try, like, if I can figure out how to, uh, like, VPNing, we'll try VPNing to, like, Asia one day, see what the ping would be like, and we can, like, select Sanok and play Asia <laughs> console with Sanok. I don't know what the, um, I don't know if the Q what the cues and the ping would be like. But you've got Paramo instead. Yeah. It's annoying because Paramo like could be a quite a decent map with just some very basic changes like taking five to eight minutes off the game time, speeding up the circles or putting a hundred players on it. But they've never, you know, in a very PUBG way, they've never made any improvements or changes to it really since it came out. So it just kind of sits there in this like half baked state. Ooh, deal LMG damage. Get a level three vest. Okay. I can do that. Hundred players would be nuts. I th the circles would make more sense, but you know it needs something doing it. Just because it gets so, like, there's just there's always just like ten minutes of nothing in the middle of the game. It's because it's perfect. Like I like. You know, I like the, the areas you fight on Paramo. I like the loot table and the loot distribution on Paramo. But, um, yeah, the the circles are just a bit, a bit shit. Well, sitting around waiting for something to happen on like that bridge didn't really work out, did it? Maybe we'll just drive it, everyone. <laughs> Go back to basics. Turning it down? No, you don't insult Bear the queen. Bad news. Thank you for the biddies. Cheers, mate. She's got a hell of a job on. It's hard work. Had these kicking around. Appreciate that. Appreciate the support, sir. Drive 2,000 meters for a stun gun. I'm not sure I'm going to do that.
Am I streaming again tomorrow? Nope. I won't be on again until, I don't know, probably next, probably a week Friday. Prosciutto wrapped asparagus is the bee's knees. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Manchester. Manchester Punk Festival. And then when I'm back next week, uh, I'll be working on YouTube videos for a few days. And then I'll, we'll have a big... I'll come back for Patreon squads next week. But I need to get some YouTube videos done, really, because I haven't, I haven't done any big, big boys for a little bit. So I just need a few days to focus on that. Hey, Carly. How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, bank holiday weekend, right? Hey boys. Why is everyone over here? So popular about this building. <laughs> There's your LMG, yeah. Actually, pick up this before we reload. I'm jealous. It's going to be good, man. This is our third year in a row. It's just favorite weekend of the year. It's such a nice way just to like see all our buddies, like so much of our friend group from you know gigs and that kind of social circle. All goes up for MPF every year. It's a lot of fun. That's what I wanted. Oh my god, still other people here. I thought they were all chilling over this way. Get this hollow that we saw. And then we'll go and say hello to these boys. Take this actually. SMGs going on over there. Not filling me with confidence. Quite far off, wasn't it? We'll try and keep some distance for the shooting because I'm versus SMGs, but it doesn't really make any difference, does it? <laughs> I feel like it was kind of in those warehouses around the area. Missed the old M249. I used to feel that way when they changed it, but I, I kind of freaking love this one now with the crazy ammo capacity. So many LMGs 
LM Jesus. Got any meds, have we? Go. Only took me uh, 105 rounds. <laughs> Got the job done. Hey, uh, Killer Ray Mooks. How you doing, sir? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just caught him as he was trying to jump in, didn't we? Oh! But you got the man and the car. That is true. Come, buddy. Weird. Was that? I don't think that was a bot. Um, this guy. Do we do? We need smoke. So picked up this random thing. Uh, we need lots of this, thank you. Alright, I'd say we're pretty... Pretty happy there. LMG him! Just someone on the payroll, exactly. Exactly. Just out for a little jog. Quick, run out of cover! It's the last thing they'll suspect. There's like a tier two buy station here, but I just can't be asked to do any of that nonsense. I kind of prefer just ignoring it all. Strike in my lobby this time. We are in the play zone here. Oh, if I did a bit more damage, I get this vest, don't I? Um, well, let's get a bit more in the play zone. That dude was going to sell all the attachments. So close to that three vest, yeah. Hey, Miggy. Welcome back. I love it when they go prone in the open. It does kind of fill you with a bit of dread, though, doesn't it? Like, when someone goes prone like that, especially when you don't have a three hat and you're in solos, you're like, are they going to, you know, are they going to bolt? They're so confident. Is he going to bolt me? One shot, headshot me? Is he going to, like, has he got a QBU or an MK12 and he's just going to be like, and you're just going to insta-die? I mean, I'd, like, 80% of the time, it's more because they're a noob and they it, they kind of think that's the right thing to do and it doesn't work out. But every now and again, it does work out and it's, and you have, you have a bad time. Does the silence reduce the power of the weapon? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have any effect on, on anything other than the sound, and it also hides the flash. I think some of the AR ones now have started saying, if you hover over them, that it helps reduce, like, hip fire recoil or something, like, weird like that, doesn't it? But they don't, they don't affect damage or anything like that. Or anything to do with, like, ADS recoil. Should we take the bus? Take the EV just to annoy chat. Oh, you're in a... I can't believe you're in an EV. Oh, you asshole. Oh, we we got a, another stun gun for doing that. Um, let's go across here, I guess, and then in up north into the middle. I love the bus. I want, I want level three gear. Yeah. 
It's hard to see where it's coming from. Yeah, I think that's the main... I mean, the acceleration is really nice. It's very, very good. And yeah, also, it's just incredibly hard to... To sort of really hear where it's coming from. Like, it just... <laughs> or to drive. Like, the directional audio on it just seems very weird. I think we're pretty close to the crate, right? Hey, Tell, how you doing? Cool. Nice. Happy with that. It would be a good one to try and catch the um, crate on the roof, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe we need to give that a whirl. If you want to be a troll, take the ammo, leave the gun. <laughs> yeah, I've done that before. Hmm, hello, car. Friend. Hey, buddy. Surprise! We got a level 3 vest for... In, to replace my level 3 vest. Um, don't really need anything, do we? I mean, we'll... As much ammo as we can carry. Sure. Vest incoming! Strikey is just getting a million kills. Jesus, that man. That was a nice play. Thank you. Enjoyed that. It's quite an easy roof to get onto, and yeah, it felt likely that he would be on that balcony, or at least upstairs in there. At least, you know, surprise him pretty well. Store the spare three in the van. What even, where even is the spare three? Like, if I... Does it, would it equip it? I don't think it has, this has a trunk, does it? Doesn't have a, doesn't have a trunk. And I don't know what, I'd, like, if I drop my vest, would it... I can't drop it because my equipment. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Um, doesn't even want to level up nades. Well, you know, you get a nade out and pull the pin and suddenly they're... You know, they, they move out the way because they hear you pull a pin and they know where you are and stuff. And after that failed stun on Erangel where he just shot me, I was like, maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll shoot this guy. <laughs> shoot first. Throwy, throwy second. You don't like gillies? I don't normally tend to bother. I like the white ones on Vikendi, but the green ones I don't often bother to take. Because most time I'm running around so much anyway, they do very little to particularly camouflage you when you're super mobile. Still 30 players up somewhere. More of a Bernie boy. Yeah, I mean, mollies are nice and effective because there's no there's no wait time, really, is there? It's just bam, in your face. It's hard to react to that if you catch them on a word. Anyone about? been a lot of planes. I felt like the last one's only a second ago. I don't really need 
any more loot. I just want people to shoot. I shouldn't stop under these because there's going to be someone freaking there. Burning ensures all diseases are gone too. Oh, that is a very good point, yeah. Except for the disease of burning. Helicopter, which means someone's going to fucking land on that thing. If they're not already up there. This crate's... Well, I don't know where it was, but it was not far away. But, oh, there's the crate down there. Buddy, you gonna hide there so you think I'm not looking? How did he get up there? Magic. Come, mate. He doesn't have much space to work with up there. Uh. Someone else trying to shoot me now. Yeah. You know, annoying having the like two different people trying to get me here. We're going to have to go here and hope that this guy can't see me. I'm not really sure where he was somewhere out there. It's going to be tricky to get the vehicle back with this guy still up. I don't, know if he, I don't know if he'll be able to shoot down into it, to be honest. Yeah, his angle's not good into it. What a rat! Sneaky play. Oh, wrong gun. Someone on those fucking cars? Uh oh. Scrappy. I just killed you. GG's. The grenade was a bit of a missed throw, but everything else kind of went okay.
this car is going to be very useful. Oh my god, how many energy drinks have you got? Jesus. Um, do we really need anything? My vest is shagged, can't do a lot about that. Does the circle close on the windmill guy? He could still be up there, actually. I think I... I think I maybe see him still up there. Oh, this is... This is an interesting... Um, interesting play zone. Jesus, where do we go? Knowing that there's maybe still a guy up on one of these. I need to just get somewhere and pop an E cover down, really. But I'm also going to need a new vest. There's not many people left, in fairness. I think this guy just died. I'm glad I moved. Glad I moved away a little bit. <laughs> it's a tiny bit better. Just move. Hello. Them. He got onto that rock. Good tag, though. Give me more emergency cover flares. Be really handy. Oh. Um. So someone's firing from like way over there. Then there's this guy on the rock. Let's get a reload done. Smoke over there. Aha, it's hard peeking. That's great. Well, his armor can't last forever. I mean, neither can mine, I guess, but I suppose if this vest gets cracked, there's my other shagged three under that guy. Is he in there? Right on the edge. This side is what I still need to start watching out. Oh, he's moved already. Okay. One left. There he is. Nice. Oh, are you the farmer? TVG on TVG. GG's. Nice. Oh, that was a fun little win. All came together. Very happy with that. Hi, YouTube. Yeah, definitely get that up on YouTube. Absolutely. That'll be on the TBG Plays channel, my second YouTube channel, where all the PUBG replays go every single weekday. Catch your PUBG replays on there. 6 p.m. UK time, those go live. Just look at the top of our main YouTube channel if you want to get the link to that, or search for TBG Plays on YouTube. No, he's not a farmer. Of course he's the fucking farmer. 
Enjoyed our little exchange from up high. Were you the guy on top of the um, the wind farm wiggle? I didn't know that. Did you get shot up there or did you come down again? I was the guy fleeing the crate with the car. Hey Rex, nice. Wiggle was at the top. Farmer was at the end. Was there anyone in that game who wasn't in chat? <laughs> Good game, that. I was indeed came down, regretted only taking a red dot. Yeah, you were in a really annoying spot there. You were landing some nice hits, but thankfully you didn't really have a good angle onto the um, the van. I was able to get out of there. Ban them all. Yeah, it's a cheeky little spot that. Needed someone else to shoot you in the ass. Enough of that. There we go. First win of the day. I and mean, it's a good one. Good fun, good shooting, good fights, good positioning, bit of squeaky bum time. Had everything we needed. BRB, two sec. First time being killed by a VIP. <laughs> it is. That was a fun game. Is Rondo the best map? No. I do like it a lot, though. Um... I don't like the stupid buy station things, but I've kind of got to a stage where I can just ignore them quite well. So I just kind of forget they're there. Does it for me.
one lad. Almost looks like he wanted to run away, didn't he? And don't realize he didn't really have anywhere to run to. Oh, can yep, thanks a lot. Honestly, give me a Buddy, they managed to get them both, but they both have clown faces. Oh no, he had a slightly different face. Who's this guy? God, it took a while to find like a half decent gun, didn't it? Did we get him in the in the toll? <laughs> what a way to go! Had a nice drop. I got down before them both, but there was just. Nothing to freaking use. That's what I wanted. Um. Oh, well, he he had a scorpion. To be fair, the other guy he was felt like he was being quite aggressive for a man with a scorpion. I'm almost dead. Someone shoots me in the toe. Do I die? Deep philosophical question there. I maybe heard a whisper of a footstep. Doesn't look looted. Oh, that's a way. That is a way. We were pretty pretty set, aren't we? Tiny bit of ammo and um We can go. Uh we do need to find the car, which I'm not I think is kind of round. Over here. We have a bike for an emergency. This is an emergency. Uh, circles that way. I'm not sure we're going to. Oh, there's a. That nope. That's not a car we can use. It's the road. Perfect timing for the stream. Watching at the desk. Work is killing me. It's killing me. Gammy pack there. We'll grab that. Well, there might be a car here. I have to go get that bicycle, you know. I just can't really be asked with the faff of you have to like freaking pick, dump half my inventory in the ground, pick up the bike, set up the bike, pick everything back up. It's a bit of a ball lake. When am I going to duo with Nacho? Well, I did it on Monday, as I do every Monday, um, except next Monday because I'm busy. But usually every single Monday I duo with Nacho, and occasionally Thursdays as well when it's update day. The bike was round here. We had to cycle out of here last time. We dropped castle, didn't we? It's not the best for uh, 
motor transport. Let's try and do this a bit better than last time, shall we? There we go. Whoa, nearly. Yeah, normally every Monday I play duos with Nacho. Wednesdays I tend to do solos. And Fridays I will do Patreon squads. Playing squads with our wonderful Patreon supporters. And having a grand time doing it. Ran out of bullets. The bike is so stealthy. Yeah, it is. The vehicle would have been nice, though. Hey, Tipsy, how you doing? Come solos, throw us a bone. Uh, have I ended up playing more Power World? Um, I haven't played it for a little bit. I've been kind of waiting for them to update it a bit. I'm kind of waiting now for it to go either 1.0 or to get dedicated servers for Xbox. And then I'll do some more content on that. The plan at the moment for YouTube is to be doing a bunch of content on Dragon's Dogma 2 from next week once I've had a Lots of, lots of stuff out of the way that's been going on. And I'll have a bit of time to sit down and play it and plan some videos and get them done. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the plan. That'll be... I'll, I'll do that for a few weeks. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully, um, you know, hope those will be of interest to... You know, it's a fairly popular game and I think those kind of videos will do well for it. Uh, and then after that, we'll see. Um, Ark Survival Ascended is going on Game Pass on Monday interestingly despite it being a kind of a re remake of an old game um so that will give it you know a bit of rekindled interest but i don't know whether i'll do new videos in it or not i think my existing videos will probably have a bit of an upsurge but i i might throw out some new arc videos potentially if people are checking that out on game pass and then we'll see yeah power world will be interesting i still want to play some hell divers when i get some time Anybody watching Three Body Problems? Someone was talking about it earlier. Short Bus, maybe? Yeah, a few people have been mentioning that. Uh, hey, M4 Drops. How you doing? Just finished work. Now chilling. Nice. Three Body Problem. What's it? It's a sci-fi series.
Hey, it's got, um... Um, I was going to say Samwise Gamgee. Sam from Game of Thrones in it. John Bradley. On the way home from work and then PUBG nights. Nice, nice, nice. Ugh. Excuse me. Apparently three actors from Game of Thrones. Jeez. They're everywhere. Fuck it. Let's get stuck in. Is one of the bodies Sean Bean? Nice. What kind of sensitivity do I play at? If you have a look on my YouTube channel, uh, I've got a video going over my latest settings that I did in January. If you just search for PUBG console settings, it'll probably pop up at the top of YouTube. That's got my current settings in it and a bit of information about them. Please gun, please gun. Well, yeah. That'd be right. Uh, what's up, Sticky? How you doing? Nice to see you. Ran in fists out, didn't he? Bold. Take this. We had a bit of fun with this the other day. That's someone nearby. A guy coming up behind him. Thank you, mate. Oh, I don't have any meds. Oh, he didn't. He didn't kill him. Oh, was there another guy there? Odd. Hey Colt, how you doing? They did kill this guy, but someone else fired from this direction and those too far and up there. Oh, hello. Ah, 
thought he was on the back corner. He was in a little hut. It's annoying. Uh, how do you tell where you're being shot from? I'm new to PUBG. Uh, you use your ears and your eyes. And, you know, just game knowledge built up over time. A lot of it is experience and learning the likely places that people are going to be shooting from, going to be attacking from. And you check those first and look for people. But first you kind of use the audio visual cues and then, you know, your brain kind of uh, tries to figure out the rest. You're looking at, you know, things people are likely to be taking cover behind where you normally see people from. Like we were talking about earlier, it's often why it takes a bit longer to locate bots sometimes because bots shoot from like really weird places that you don't even think to check. Hey, Sinsip. How you doing, Georgie? How's it going? Your settings video helped me a lot. Nice. Glad to hear it, Edge. Love that. People seem to enjoy him. I think I missed what your favorite map is. I don't know if I really have a favorite these days. I kind of, maybe Sanok, which I never get to play. I'm kind of happy enough. As long as I'm getting a, an even rotation, I'm I'm kind of okay, really. Depends on the mode a little bit as well. I like Tago a lot these days. I love Sanok. Um, Destin, I'm a bit like, meh. Aaron was always good fun. The small maps I don't not really big into these days. The Karakin and Paramo. Still I muse. Have a good one, mate. Nice to chat you. What's run really weird? Yeah. I love your channel so much. Thank you. Glad you like it. Mirror Mom I'm like, eh. Bikendi. Yeah. But you know, I'm pretty pretty chilled on these things really. Oh man, soda matchmaking is crap these days isn't it despite all the tweets of people saying look how much the player count has increased on pubg on steam and then you sit here waiting three minutes for a solo game the green maps are more visually visually more appealing to the eyes to me yeah i don't know what it is that like makes me kind of prefer those those maps really i think the thing is i like taiko and sanok i like them both because they're both probably the two maps that you can get looted the easiest on i find and maybe vikendi is quite good for that too but both those maps have lots of places you can drop where there's lots of open areas where you can just pick up loads of loot super quickly and then run around and locate people quite easily as well sanox like a smaller map so you get lots of action it's nice and quick to just get fights you don't have to drive around trying to find fights on sanox really and then um you know, Tago is quite easy to spot people from a distance and to, you know, and to locate um, locate fights and um, chase around and have high kill games and stuff on Tago. I quite enjoy, particularly for like duos and stuff like that. Two man squads. Bring back Larry. Yeah, thankfully the the duo queue has been um been pretty good when we've been doing our our Monday sessions, so we haven't had too too long to wait for many of them. I mean, squads always seems very healthy as well. Like the Friday squad sessions, that's always very very quick. You like the OG map, Irangol.
I'd remove new Vikendi and bring back the original one with the menacing T-Rex statue. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a few people talk about liking the old Vikendi. I'm not really fussed between either of them, to be honest. The old Vikendi was a fun map, and the new Vikendi, I think, is kind of about as equally fun for me, really. Did you play any of the Metal Gear Solid games online when they're available? No, I never really was a, really got into any of the Metal Gear games at any stage of my life, really. I've, I kind of watched a few of my mates play them when I was younger, but I never really um, got into them. Even the old ones, I was probably kind of busy playing like N64 and then some early PC stuff and Command and & Conquer and whatever. What's up, Floss? How you doing? Good to see you, mate. I didn't even know the audio cue area in training grounds was a thing until I saw your video on settings. Yeah, the, um, what do they call it? Sound training? Yeah, I never really use it, but it's, it's you know, it's it's probably kind of useful. More Maybe more for, like, learning the, I mean, if you're struggling with directional audio, it's probably worth checking out. I, it's not something I struggle with, but then I've you know, been playing the game for absolutely years. It's quite a good way of learning what, like, distant, you know, so you can know the difference between the gun sounds i guess especially if you're new it's so the other training mode in um that that i find the most useful just the aim training thing shooting the targets nice for a little warm-up um you know if they'd had both those in when i started playing the game or when everyone started to play in the game i think that would have been you know i would have found that very very useful maybe i wouldn't have been running crawling around single tapping ak's for quite so long any word of them creating new maps uh they haven't mentioned anything. Normally, they kind of do quite far in advance when they're doing new maps. So, I think maybe they're not doing one this year. Because, like, Rondo, they originally mentioned it. I'm sure it was a good, like, year in advance where they they sort of teased it, right? Um, and they didn't mention anything in that. Uh, the dev roadmap, the big dev roadmap they did recently was pretty thorough. And they didn't mention anything. So, I'd say that not working on any new maps at the moment that we should see this year tdm was a game changer imagine that in 2018 yeah i don't really tend to use it too much but i have gone through phases where i've used it a bunch and for sure it would have as a beginner it would have been super useful i mean i guess also like back in the day you could kind of i, I remember i used to tell people just to kind of hot drop and just fight a lot back in the day because you could get in games so quick in the early days of pubg the you know that was you didn't have to sit there queuing for ages so you could kind of do that you could just go and like hot drop a bunch of times and just run at people and you know you get some like early kind of stressful you know gameplay practice in a live environment and then you just when you die you just go straight back and jump at school everyone's dropping school because it's you know 2018 2019 and school's still busy and oh, i thought these noises are gone we were doing one of these the other day and like it didn't do any of the noises Maybe that's just in squads? I don't know. Oh. We're just taking some things out. I don't know. Well, get ready for some, some noises. Am I just going around in circles? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Then use it for sniping. Run one every day before games. Nice. Yeah, I'm just in a rhythm of using um the like the little aim trainee thing against um Yeah, the little pop-up targets I do before each, like, session, just when I start the stream and I'm just chatting to people. And it's a nice way to, you know, to talk to chat and just, like, warm up, really. A little bit of practice, a little bit of warm up. God, I hate these things. Um, doo -doo -doo. You can still occasionally get, like, uh, crate guns in these. I'm pretty sure that's still a thing. It certainly was when they first... Uh, first launched even training mode was huge yeah and then the, they the stuff they added to it was was really strong i seem to remember it took a while but it was good why am i picking that up don't don't have a teammate it's like oh shiny thing So many of them, man. We I need to come here more often when I'm playing squads. There's freaking. There we go. I think that's all the noise that I need to make. <laughs> Good way to get crit response kits. Maybe that's the play for duos and squads on for Kendi. Come to Ice Road, not for the 
three gear, but for the current response kits, people don't expect them. If you put off a one second revive, people are not prepared for that. We did this one, didn't we? Yeah. Go for crates. What well, well last time? The noise in squads too. Yeah, I thought we were playing it the other day, and I didn't. It didn't do the noise, but I don't know. Maybe it's bugged, or I just wasn't paying attention, or something. What gun weapon would I want in this game? I don't know what I would add, to be honest. I, I couldn't say. You got an AWM and the last time you went. Yeah, you definitely can get great guns as a sort of rare find. You can find them in the bear caves. Maybe we should go to a bear cave. Ooh, that, the big one is a long way away. Probably easier just to try and get airdrops. Loving the stream. Cheers, Rich. Tore your calf muscle on Monday, so resting today. Oh, mate, that sucks. Doing some cross stitch and watching you kill people. Lovely. I had a bit of a sore Achilles on Sunday after my big run, but um, I went running this morning and that it felt absolutely fine. So I think that's just the. Oh, my God, are they miles away? Okay, 105. Absolutely miles away. I think that's just the natural aches and pains from running shitloads. Doesn't seem to be any kind of injury, which is good. Let's say 105. And far! It gets so hard to avoid picking up injuries and issues when you're running a lot. How far do I run usually? Uh, it varies. My short runs are normally like a 12k. So it's about, it's about 7 miles. And then medium runs are going to be like 16k, 10 miles or so. And then my longer runs are anywhere from 20 to 35 kilometers, depending on what I'm doing. At the moment, I'm training for an ultra, a 50 mile ultra. So um, I'm doing a lot of very long runs. But yeah, I mean, it varies. At the moment, I'm doing like 60 to 80k a week over four or five runs, something like that. But I don't, sometimes I'll, you know, I'm not always running that volume. But let's say 105. Oh, we've gone a bit off course. How do we go so off course? I thought I saw like the smoke for them over there. I think that's what threw me off, but... We're outside the circle now. Maybe my 105 was a bit inaccurate. Hmm. Maybe we should have put a marker down. Can we see them anywhere? We're outside the zone, so that's that's where we've gone wrong. Is someone going to shoot me if I just lay prone for a second? We do a bit of research. You passed it? I was kind of zoned out talking about running, and it's all a blur. I started here, and then it went kind of 105, didn't it? Well, I sort of was up here. It's going to be like down over there somewhere, I guess. How long would... An ultra, well, that ultra, I mean, my, my game plan for that, it has a 13-hour cutoff, so you got to do it quicker than that. My hope is that I can do it in just under 10 hours is the plan for that one. But we'll, we'll see what happens. How have I, like, how have I fluffed these? Oh, man, I'm just not paying attention. Silly, I'm normally so... So good at finding the old crates. My crazy wife just runs through all her injuries. Go rob some polar bears instead. Oh. There's none of the other thing here. What's your pace? What for the ultra? That'll be like a 7 minute 20 kilometer average over the 50 miles.
Ready for the scar buff? Yeah, I think that's gonna be gonna be great. Looking forward to seeing if it makes it, you know, something something people actually use. Just gonna rob some bloody polar bears, and I. Right, I feel like I still want to try and find them just to prove that I can. They looked so far away from here, and yet the circle's only there. They couldn't have been further than that. Right. Was I maybe Mars more over there? But because I had to go through Naros, didn't I? Actually, I was like there. Like, is that? Yeah, maybe along that line. I mean, that's kind of. Isn't that kind of where I was? I don't know. We're gonna keep looking. Cause what else are we gonna do? I used to use the scar a reasonable amount, like back years ago, but it's been a it's been a while. Uh, he died. I'll count that as mine. Yeah, my my training runs are all sorts of different places depending on what I'm what I'm doing. And then it just tends to be the big long Sunday runs. I'm trying to do it like target pace at the moment, which is quite hard to like slow yourself down that much. It's like it's a very slow average pace to maintain. You you know, you're walking a lot of the hills. Silly boy. I died. Uh I think I think I'm given up on those crates to be honest I'm surprised we didn't get a tire on that tree stole the kill stole my kill Okay. Oh. Guess we're walking. That's what happens when you get lost looking for crates. And have your fuel gauge covered up by your face on the stream. So. Even chat can't warn you. On the train tracks. Someone found the crates because they got an MG3. We need a vehicle. Just, just there's a little head pop up there. Fairly mobile. You can come this way so I can spray you with the barrel. That would be... be great. I like he's going back to his bike. Oh, he's over there. Not brilliant shooting really, was it? Ooh. 
Close. On one first day. We haven't really got a lot of week because we spent the entire thing trying to find the crates that we never found. Sure. He's got some loot for me. Do you take a packed lunch for the Ultra then? Uh, I will carry all my nutrition with me. It won't be like a lunch. It will be like sports nutrition really. So um, mostly like gels, these little cube things that were squishy cube sweet things that have like carbohydrate and calories in them um this like powder stuff that I'll, oh hello you got a little free helmet um powder stuff that i'll mix up in my drinks oh hello you got that as well okay well he found the crates for me and then maybe just a, like a little bit of a real food is a little bit of a a treat and then there's also aid stations on the way round that have um like basic you know crisps and fruit and little picky bits and stuff so you could have a little nibble but you, it's hard to you can't really digest like too much solid food like when you're running even if you're running slowly and also you, your body can only really absorb like a certain amount of calories per hour so and if your body isn't absorbing them and you're running then you're gonna have like digestive issues like, if you just sit at home and stuff your face, it's all right. But if you go, you know, if you start running and your body's not absorbed those calories, then you're going to have a bad time. Hey, Mort, how you doing? Just take a picnic basket with you. Any advice for getting into long distance running? Um, get into trail running. Find nice trails to run on. I mean, I assume you're already short or medium distance running, I guess. But um, just build it up gradually. I do. I, most of my running is trail running, and that's why I, I love it because I'm out just plodding around in the trails, and it's just you know beautiful scenery and out in the countryside. Just solos today. So press We got it. We got it. I mean, I admire the ego after you've been headed with an MK to just sit there. Still not medded. I can't believe he would keep peeking that. It's just beyond me. I don't know if that was a random shot from the glider or on top of that thing. I feel like probably on top of that thing, but... Uh, maybe it's the glider if they didn't fire again. Stretch before and after runs. Yeah, particularly afterwards, but... I think it's more... I think more important, like stretching is important, but I think more important than stretching. The thing that I think most, lots of runners do wrong, like inexperienced runners do wrong, in talking in very general terms, is um, it's just kind of running at like full whack or like 80% kind of whack, like all the time. Every time they go out, they're like, oh, I'll see if I can run faster than I did last time. And you're running at like, so it feels like hard work and on every run and you're you're pushing your pace every run whereas you know generally the kind of consensus is that you know you're probably running about maybe 20 percent of your mileage a week max at like a high effort or a higher effort and then the rest of it you know at a, at a sort of easy easy effort easy pace and it just that just helps build up your cardiovascular system much much better and it stops you getting uh You know, it helps avoid uh, injury, reduce injury risk and stuff like that. But that's most, most of my training is just, you know, slow, slow, long runs. There is a guy behind all that. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, just a little unlucky. We just needed to connect. Needed to connect. Long distances at slower pace running will help and reduce injuries. 100%. I used to sprint track and field. Our biggest training effort was long distance, was running long distance. Yeah, ever do any trail? All my running is trail running pretty much. Certainly all my long runs are trail runs. You mentioned the quality of the shoe has to do with it. Um, I mean, having a half decent shoe helps reduce injury. It's not going to make you suddenly become lightning fast. But having a half, a, an actual running shoe, you don't have to spend a load of money though. 500 damage and two kills. Jesus, what are we doing? Um, nice. No, so well, I'm going to have to bounce because I, I won't have time to finish the full game because I've got some stuff to do. But um, thank you for hanging out today. It's been a blast. Hope you've enjoyed the stream. I won't be on on Friday. I'll be probably back a week on Friday for the next stream. I'll be working on some YouTube content next week. Um, so have a ne wonderful next few whatever days and I will um, catch you all next time. There's a load of videos queued up on the TBG Plays channel. If you want to watch some PUBG content, there's loads going out on there over the next week. Um, so daily content on that channel if you want to watch. Uh, go check out the TBG Plays YouTube channel. I'll put the link in chat for you. So you have that. You can go and watch that when there's no streams for you to watch. Enjoy. Uh, lovely. Have a fantastic time. And I will see you all uh, on the other side. Bye-bye.